Last week, uh, I'm out a little Friday pickleball shoot. Scott's there, Isaac's there, mm -hmm. Timon's there for oh, yeah. a bit. The boys. We get done filming, and uh, they say, hey, why don't we go eat uh, at Chicken Pickles? Like, oh, okay, how often do we do that? Let's go in, and we're perusing the menu, and... Uh, you know, I'm seeing some different things. I didn't know they had. Oh, chicken waffles. I didn't know they had chicken and waffles. Oh, okay. You know, classic, just a, a lot of chicken options. Sure. And then Scott orders something that uh, just just a great sentence. I think it's it might be a unique sentence. I don't know if anyone on earth has ever said this sentence. <laughs> uh, any guesses on what Scott ordered from Chicken and Pickle? Um, they were, instead of cheese curds, they're chicken curds. <laughs> And Good he guess. he ordered two of them, just like two, like they're they're little guys, and he just said, "Guys, get two little curds, just two little curds, just a couple curds. of curds." Uh, uh, correct answer is, uh, can I name for that, uh, Scott? For you to go uh, for here, and what's your order? Can I just get a pot pie and a water? Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> it's like a pot pie and a water. <laughs> I mean, that is a robust menu, and it, you found the only thing not chicken, and the only thing pot just... pie. Yeah, a public pot pie <laughs> yeah, is public so pie. bad. Like a Don't <laughs> eat pot pie in public. A bar and grill pot pie too. It's like it's like they have like yeah like standing like bar height like you know tables. Everyone's just like chowing down on their like honey mustard with chicken fingers. Bavarian you're over pretzel. There. You're, yeah, Bavarian pretzel. <laughs> we got yeah, like nachos, like you know, special nachos. You're over there fork and knife on a pot pie. <laughs> you don't go public pot pie. That is that is insanity. If it helps paint the picture of how insane this is, we're very sweaty. Exactly. We just got done. Yeah, so it's, a piping hot public pot pie is a terrible <laughs> idea. Uh, uh oh, ooh, I, ooh, I think this tight beat means that it's going down with some random thoughts and white meat too. Midwest best friends eating fast food on repeat, so come along, let's have some fun and go ahead, get on your feet, cause it's the Ghost Brothers Podcast. Every Monday morning, we're taking grand Ghost Brothers Podcast. Hey, but we love Scott. Uh, I think uh, by the time this comes out, he just had a kid. Wow. So I hope he raises them on good values. Shout out Banks. Yeah. Public pot pies and public pot pies. That's some, here's, here's two things that you need to know about Scott. Scott's or for Scott's family. Is this for Banks or no, is this just for everybody? Maybe everyone? Banks. Okay. Uh, your grandparents and your great grandparents, they grew up in New England and his great grandma grew up Jewish. I don't know if those things make you have public pot pies. But it sure kind of makes sense now. <laughs> Public piping pickleball pot pies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just preposterous. 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 Mm -hmm. Dude, have you seen that clip of uh, Nate Bargatze trying to say civilizations? Oh, yeah, that's shocking. And he, he didn't, he said civilian stations. <laughs> <laughs> like the guy, he was interviewing a guy. The guy said civilizations, and he's like, and there aren't very many like civilian stations. <laughs> Yeah, and Aaron Weber, is one of his co-hosts with them, <laughs> could not keep it together. I've watched it probably four times. I don't know. Is that like, uh, oh, what's that called where you get the letters mixed dyslexia? up? Yeah, is that dyslexia or is that just <laughs> not being so. smart? I think that's maybe lack of hearing or something. Like <laughs> civilian stations. Civilian stations. It's like, it's like everyone in his life mumbles through everything. Mm. You know, kind of like one of those, like, kind of, you kind of grew up hillbilly, hick town, old Hickory, Tennessee, or whatever. Maybe it's just like, hey, man, it's going to go, I'm going to go, I got a mechanic over here, I can do that, tire trains and oil trains right there for $15. You know, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> stations. yeah, so that's, that's a crazy space station over there. He talked about it in his set that he calls it the uh, Silver War instead of the Civil War. So, <laughs> yeah, what else did he How say? he lives. Yeah. 1860s, yeah, Silver War. I also heard, I mean, because people are like, is that an actor? Is that really just who he is? I think that's truly who he is. I heard an interview with him one time. He's like, I mean, yeah, it's crazy. We're in 2024. You know, oh, did you yeah, hear this? Yeah, yeah. He's like, I mean, the 3000s is only like 76 years away. And people were just like, yeah, yeah. And then wait, somebody was like, wait a second. That's not right. Yeah, I think he was talking <laughs> about kids these days. And he's like, you think about it, like kids these days, they're going to live to be <laughs> yeah, 3,000 24. Because he, he makes a joke about, I'm from the 1900s or mm -hmm. something like that. He's like, These generations, you don't think about it, but the kids <laughs> born today, I mean, they could see the year th th 3024. You're going to see the 3000s. They're like, wow, yeah, that is kind of crazy. Like, wait, <laughs> wait, no, I don't, dude, it's, I don't two, think it's so. 2124. <laughs> Luckily, we're not ever stupid. So I've never made a mistake, which is good. Which is great. Yeah, that's us for you. So um, anyway, pot pie and water. Only thing I wrote down. It was the only thing I really wanted to talk about other than that. 
whatever you guys think. Yeah, I think uh, I think we should just end it right there. Well, I mean, we have a Wednesday episode. We're ending on top with Pop Pie and Water. <laughs> so just come back Wednesday. We'll have more to say. Uh, Ghost Runners podcast? <laughs> no, then. It's over. Uh, what do you guys think of Pop Pies? Uh, private, private Pop Pies. Oh, still not that good. That's my problem with okay. this. Is like at their peak, a pot pie can only be so good. That's what I'm saying, dude. Scott is was raised differently than we were. Like, yeah. there's something about this like New England Scott, like Cape Cod, <laughs> like kettle cooked chips that he would always have. It is like Scott was the only guy that I knew that had Ovaltine at his house. Mm. Did you know any Ovaltine people? No, I, I thought maybe it was a scam. You see all the commercials for it. Like, they yeah. must be doing all right somewhere. It's probably New England. It's a mattress slash, firm thing. Like, yes. I see it. <laughs> But I don't see but it. But where, where is it? Where is it going? Who's actually buying the stuff? Scott Peck was buying the stuff. Yeah. Uh, also had Cape Cod chips all the time. Okay. Only person I knew that had those. Uh, I'm trying to think of other things. Uh, was the only person I think that I knew that actually like froze his own ice cubes. What oh, you- it was so annoying. You know, well, like as in comparison to like having an ice maker. Oh, I see. He was poor. I don't think he was poor. That's the thing. <laughs> No, he was not poor. Poor shaming him. No. He was like the only guy I knew. Ovaltine, you got him on food stamps? Uh, <laughs> just slowly describe his like lack of like. Yeah, dude, he was the only one I, that I knew that slept with all three of his brothers in the same bed. <laughs> and it was in his parents' room. It was this he weird was attachment like, thing. The only one at school who didn't shower that morning. Oh, no. no Scott, it's just that's, New England. <laughs> I don't know. He no. would never run a comb through his hair. <laughs> Oh, he smelled so bad. He always said he connected with Oliver Twist. I was like, that is so dumb. Dude. <laughs> no, no, he was not poor. I think, whatever, he had more money than we did. He just wasn't spinning on ice. Pop it was so annoying. You'd go in there, <laughs> wanting a cold drink, maybe some Sprite in a glass. Yeah, uh, ice Mormon, trays out. You know, yeah, yeah, ice trays out. Or like there's one piece of ice in there. And it's like, do I, do I put it back in with one piece of ice or do I <laughs> reset the whole thing? You got to fill it up at someone else's house. Whatever. So that's Scott Banks. Good luck, man. You're you're gonna you're gonna need it. <laughs> good luck, um, Banksy. Wow. Uh, Scott's kind of on my um, doghouse. He's in my doghouse. He could be on your doghouse. Oh, he's, it's just because he. Well, yeah. tell me why. Because he freaking went to the BYU KU game in BYU stuff, and then complained about KU and how they get all the calls, and then KU lost the game. <laughs> and it, I just. What would you have preferred him to do? Wear KU stuff. Okay. And drew for KU. But he went to BYU. But I went to K State. Yeah, that's weird of you, not weird of him. <laughs> <laughs> no, because we grew up. He didn't care that much about BYU growing up, and then you but then went he went there. to college there. So that's a great reason to cheer for a team. No, yes, of course, but not. But he he doesn't. I don't know. Maybe he cares as much about BYU as KU. But he's been to hundreds of I don't know how many games. He's poor. He's probably been to one <laughs> KU game in his life. But <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, he went to like an exhibition game one time. No, he's been to plenty. K whatever. He was just. He was like, oh, I get it now. KU gets all the calls. I'm like, Scott, stop it. And then he had the audacity last night to text me and be like, pumped about this KU game tonight. I was like, don't talk to me about this. <laughs> You're not one of us anymore. So you think he's got his foot in both camps, but then on one specific night, he complained about KU getting the calls. Yeah. So it's like, you don't have your foot in both camps. Doghouse. Doghouse. Your big, foot in one, old dog house. one normal house, one dog house. With big old dog. One house made for a dog. No, obviously Scott's, he can root for whoever he wants, but... I, I I was mad at him because KU lost. If if KU won, sure, <laughs> wear whatever you want. It's, it's too bad, Scott. It's just, yeah, that's the circumstances. That's why you, you don't like. And he's like, well, BYU needed this win more than KU did. And I'm like, well, you could say that about every team that's playing KU. So therefore, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Maybe Scott would like communist Russia. <sighs> I mean, kind of meet in the middle. There you go. New England Jewish. <laughs> I don't know. There's something there. <laughs> Is there? <laughs> I don't know. I know I, I would get a, a 25% on a history test right now, I think. I'm really bad with, like, I know, like, kind of the World War II stuff, but I could probably only get 70% of, like, who was on whose side in World War II. I wish I knew more about uh, history. Uh, Lucas uh, was on the road with us this weekend, and we were actually talking about this. He, w- he made the point, he's like, I think who you had for history makes such a big impact on how much you like history. Okay. Which I know you could probably say that about most teachers, but I feel like math is not much, uh, your math teacher is not much you enjoy it. It's probably just how much you get it and how much mm-hmm. you understand it. Because if you don't get math, it's no fun. And if you get math, it seems like it's, it's always fun when I got math. Yeah. You know? And like history seems like, eh, same with English maybe, like you could figure out how to get good grades, but that doesn't mean you're going to enjoy it. Like those teachers really make an impact. And I don't remember ever having like a good history teacher. And I wish I did. Uh, yeah. I had some cool ones, but I don't know if they were that good. You know what I mean? Like. He was fun. Like we had fun, like theme days. 
Yeah. I don't remember He's what like, we talked all about. students, he would have us over. He was like the coolest. Yeah, he like, yeah. His party got busted. He didn't his, work his, anymore. My own duo always tasted funny, but like, I mean, I really liked the guy. Um, <laughs> I've maybe said this before on the podcast. One of the only history teachers I remember having, social studies, actually. Yeah. Seventh grade. It was always social studies. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a confusing there's more term. Than, there's more to history than just history. Yeah, let's look at this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, Mr. Davis... Sorry, I'm gonna say your name, but this is a weird <laughs> thing for you to say when we were 13. Uh, he was telling us about uh, how to give a good speech, how to give a good presentation. Yeah. This is history. We're not doing this. <laughs> He's just kind of going well, off the record. Like, hey, know, hey, by the way, if you the want. Great orators in history. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It started with the spoken word. Yep. He's like, you wanna give a good speech? I always say it's a lot like a women's skirt. You wanna keep it uh, short enough to keep things interesting, but long enough to cover the subject. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's like, you know what I'm talking about, Rachel? What's the subject? <laughs> what's the metaphor? I don't get it. Uh, okay. So yeah, seventh grade. Remember skirt, him saying that. What's the difference between a skirt and a dress? That's what <laughs> Dude, I would, I, would I str- still don't know that. I, I struggle with that. I, I'm always like, Hattie, I love your, love your dress. And she's like, it's a skirt. And I'm like, okay. Oh, and it's so funny to Rachel when I mess that up too. You should wear that, um, the, the, the pink skirt you have. <laughs> Do you mean my dress? <laughs> oh my god! It is like okay, yeah, I don't know. Like, you know what I'm talking about? I see where they end. I don't see where they start. <laughs> yeah, you're covering up where they start. <laughs> yeah. It could go all the way up. I don't know. Yeah, you're layering you're in up. a sweatshirt. 100. percent It you're, could go either way. Yeah, I don't so see where it starts. Show me the straps then. Yeah, show uh, me the straps. Prove me. Show me those straps. <laughs> show me that far. <laughs> show me the straps then. Uh, anyway. Mr. Davis. Is, so he's a creep. I don't know what he's up to now, but Was yeah. He married? <laughs> if we have any uh, Stratford people still listening, Grant Holmes, you're still out there. Anybody else? Grant Holmes was on the live stream the other day. Was he really? Pretty Fun. sure. GL Holmes or something like that. Okay. Dang, you know what? Grant didn't move to Stratford till ninth grade. He wouldn't even you know about Creepo Davis. Maybe he heard stories. <laughs> Legends. <laughs> did, okay, small school. Did everyone have the same history teacher? Yes, in like middle school. Yeah, you all mm-hmm. just rotated. Like seventh grade history is Mr. Davis. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Second guess for a little bit, but yeah, yeah. We all, Miss Haroldson for English, Mr. Davis for... What about high school? Same. Then high school, there was slight differentiation, but it was, that was even just like classes though. I think there was only one chemistry teacher. It was just whether or not you took chemistry. Or if you were like advanced chemistry or something. Yeah, I think so. Huh. Yeah, not a lot of differences. Like you had Spanish. You're with Senior Westcott. Oh, Senor And you're going to see the spit build on the corners of his mouth. <laughs> and it's all you're going to be able to focus on. Poor you teachers, talk about man. a teacher like really affecting it. I would have loved Spanish had I had even a decent teacher, I bet. Because I, th- I think that stuff is so interesting and I feel like I, I can yeah. learn it quickly. But no, oh, not, we did not, not with, get along. That was Senor. Senor Westcott. You didn't get along. Um, yeah, I don't know. How so? He was always speaking another language. He was speaking gibberish at me. <laughs> I couldn't understand him. <laughs> I literally guy. was like from a different planet. <laughs> Westcott. Westcott. <clears throat> All right. Well, uh, anyway. Yeah. How's everything going for you, Jacob? Good. I went to Philadelphia this weekend, among a few other cities. What, what was it, it sunny? No, it rained the whole time we were in Philadelphia. It's always rainy in Philadelphia. That's what they say. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is your... So Alan and I had this conversation the night before in Norfolk, and I want to know what your thoughts, what are your thoughts about Philadelphia? Like the people, the town, would you live there? What do you think about it? Uh, No, I would not live there. I hear just negative, negative things about it. I think I I love, if I were from Philadelphia, I would be like, I would have overwhelming pride for my sports teams. But it seems like from what I understand about the city itself, it has gone way downhill, high crime. Really big city. I think it's one of the biggest, like, area, like, metropolitans, at least, in the United States. Um, top 10, at least. Okay. Um, I, I visited there kind of recently, a couple of years ago with Sammy. Cool mm-hmm. guy, Sammy. And I enjoyed my time there. I didn't feel scared or anything. But you see those videos? Have you seen the videos of those people just, like, just whatever? Ransacking? No, not ransacking. Oh. Um, what are they? They're on. They're, like, addicted to something. They're just, like, zombies. Oh, zombies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like that's often in Philadelphia, like that area. So that's, I think of that on, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but I, I think I would weirdly, like, I feel like the people of Philadelphia have this stereotype of being so brash, so mean, so whatever. I think for whatever reason, I could, I could crack them, you know, <laughs> I could get in there and be friends with them. So those, uh, so, those are my thoughts. Yeah. I was telling Alan, I was like, I think uh, it'd be fun to be a sportsman here, but I don't think I would like the reputation of like Philadelphia. We're the mean 
We're the mean crowd. Everyone knows this. We're mean to our team and opposing teams. That's our shtick. I don't yep. think I would like that. Yeah. That's a vibe with my personality. That's fair. I, yeah, but I feel like if you are one of them, yeah, I understand. Like, if, if you're not good, yeah, they're going to hate on you hard. But like Jason Kelsey, it seems like Jason Kelsey has won their affection. They love on him hard. They love him so much. But then again, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if Donovan McNabb is like loved in Philadelphia, <laughs> and he was so good. You know, he yeah. didn't win a Super Bowl, but he was right there. So, um, also, I what was I going to say about Philadelphia? I don't know. Oh, it's just cold. It's like if you're going to live in a kind of unpleasant place, and it's also just not great weather. Go to Jackson, Mississippi instead. <laughs> right. That's what I've always said. <laughs> Jackson, Mississippi. There's like the similar swamp. town, yeah. but just warmer. That's way exactly warmer. The Philadelphia of the South. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think. Uh, so anyway, we're having this conversation the night before. It's like, I don't know. It just feels like from what you see online and what you hear, and it seems like Philly is just like an agitated city. Correct. And boy, did that come to fruition. Oh, I thought the you were going to say the opposite. Okay. I wish it would have. Yeah. So uh, we went to, uh, I found Paddle, the sport I'm obsessed with. They have it in Philadelphia. Yep. The place, so it reads better than it, it talks. So it's called Paddle is the first part of it. And the last half of it is the last half of Philadelphia. <laughs> so Paddlefia, Padelphia. Okay, I was going to say, I think everyone else I've heard that's talked about this sport is calling it Padel. Well, see, I started calling it Padel, and the people were like, what do you mean, paddle? I'm like, I, I, try, I can't please everybody, so I don't know. <laughs> the uh, ten, Tracy Cooper, uh, yeah. tennis pro, calls it Padel. See, I started calling it Padel right and, off the bat because like, I saw a lot of Indian people playing it. Boy. Yeah. And I was like, I bet it's Padel. Padel, Padel, Seriously, something like that. I'll admit, a little <laughs> bit of uh, appropriation going on. I was like, I mean, the, all the clips I see are like foreigners playing it. I bet it's Padel. And then they're like, no, it's Paddle. Okay. Like, all right, guys, whatever. But that was Australia. Who, whatever. It's kind of like F or P-H-O. Like, oh, pho. Pho. Yeah. It's, In Thailand, beautiful islands, P-H-I, P-H-I islands. You think Fifi? No, unfortunately, it's the PP Islands. Oh, really? No, no H's. <laughs> anyway, we didn't know how to pronounce it, so we resorted to pa <laughs> um, Padophilia. Yeah, um, <laughs> Padophilia is what we would call it. Uh, and I don't know if Michael ever saw it in print, and I think he actually thought we were just going to Padophilia <laughs> the whole time. He's like, "What? Yo, what's this place? Yo, Michael's back though." Michael is back. Yeah. And boy, is he back. So, yeah, this is where it starts. We're all getting in an Uber um, to – so we had weird bookings. It was like they didn't have just a nice three-hour session for us. So like, all right, you can do 11 to noon and then 2.30 to 4. Okay. It's like, all right, we'll do that. We'll break for lunch. So we play for an hour and – Because you're a, you're a pa paddlephiliac. Paddlephiliac. That's right. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. And uh, one of the first Ubers of the weekend. It's pouring down rain in Philadelphia – and we're getting in this minivan, five of us, I guess. So we're trying to get in the back seat. You know, every car, this, how the seats lay down is different. There's not a universal way to do it. Yes. So we're trying to figure it out. We can't figure out a way to get the seat all the way to, like, collapse. <laughs> it's but so it's pouring down rain. <laughs> this guy's just uh, still in the driver's seat. Let's it's go. So, oh, yeah. Uh, it's so Trey's like, all right, I'll just hop over it. Hop over the seat, which is not a hard hop. It was just like, all right, the seat doesn't need to be perfect. And Trey is as agile as they come. He is. He's a cat. And... Dude, the second Trey steps over the seat, hey, 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 he just starts yelling at us. And Trey's like, we're athletic, we're athletic, it's good. <laughs> and it really, we've been in the rain for a while now, so then I step over the seat, you break my seat, you oh. break my, I go, I didn't break your seat, oh, I didn't even wow. touch it. Yeah, he's going to charge you a thousand dollars. I didn't break your seat, what do you mean, Let's, how can I even possibly have broken a seat by stepping over? Look at it. I, I didn't break your seat. <laughs> So then we're in this like yelling match from the back seat to the front seat. Mike Hell steps in. My brother. <laughs> he goes, my brother. <laughs> you got to calm down. <laughs> this was a master class in like de-escalation. Wow. It was amazing. He was like, you're taking things to another level right now. I see you to calm down, my brother. You just got to <laughs> chill. He's like, you're talking disrespectful to my friends. I'm going to wait until you start acting respectful, okay? And, and Mike Hell's like, I'm in the pouring rain. I'm already sad right now. Why you got to make me extra sad? <laughs> and, yeah, uh, you, want, you want to seek to be broken? <laughs> I, I'm about to, yeah, get it super wet and ruin it right now. It was really impressive. Just like in the moment, like emotions are high, and Mike Hell was just like, 
I'm gonna let you, and this guy is still talking. Why you mad me? Why you mad me? Michael's like, I'm just gonna let you talk. And when you're done talking, then I'm gonna talk. But I want your talk to end with an apology. <laughs> and this guy said, oh, you come in, you break my seat. My cousin, I'm still not hearing an apology, man. <laughs> and it was awesome. So eventually, so this guy, we're fully in the car now. He is safely driving us to our destination. And we're just screaming at each other. My, my Cal and this guy, basically, are just like going back at it while he's just like driving us around. Really? <laughs> it was such a funny dynamic. So he's like still. He's like putting on his blinker, being really safe. Hey, why are you mad at me? Excuse me for just a second. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's like, he's like waving people like, thank you. Yeah, you come on. Thank you. <laughs> what? Come on. <laughs> This guy's trying to break my seat. If he breaks my seat, I only have three left. <laughs> That's wild. Uh, anyway, the guy ended up apologizing, and we, we really resolved things. It was great. Good for Michael, dude. That's, so, that's really I, – I, he's going to be a great dad someday. It was like. amazing. That's Because that's what I do with kids, but I don't okay. think I could – I don't think I have the stones to do it to an adult. Oh, yeah. I was kind of on my heels a little bit. This guy's just like screaming at me. I was like, I, I, didn't, I didn't do anything. Uh, yeah. And uh, so that was awesome. Next Uber we get into, um, I should say we try to get into, we're back at the, no, sorry. There's one more in between. We, we take two separate um, Ubers as we leave uh, Pedophilia. <laughs> and we're going back to the venue. Isaac and I are one one together. And uh, he was like, all right, Rivers Casino, here it is. We're like, we're actually going like to a side entrance over there. Um, and he's like, oh, well, the trip ended here. Like, I've got to drop you here. Pouring down rain. It's like it's, it's just like right up there. I mean, it's like maybe like two football fields. It's it's not much, but more than you want to walk in. Oh yeah, like that you're gonna get soaked by the end. Yeah, of that. like it's just like right right up here. He's like, uh, you know, it says trip ended, so I have to like let you out. You're like, you can't just drive us up here. I'll give you five stars, five stars. Right, drive us out there. He's like, no, I can't. Like, dude, what's with this town? All right, no big deal. We go gather our stuff. Kind of a big deal. Kind of a bummer. Yeah. Also a bummer about this day. This casino. It just sounds like champagne problems, but no, no showers, no dressing rooms, nothing back. It's not, not even a hotel. It's just a casino. That's okay. all it is there. So it's just slot machines and card tables. You'd think they have enough plumbing to have one bathroom or like one shower for you or something. Obviously yeah. no bathrooms, but. So they don't. So what we have to do is we have to go get hotel rooms. We go get a few hotel rooms and we all just take turns okay. showering and whatever there throughout the day. So now we're having to get in other Ubers with all of our luggage and bags, Uber to these hotel rooms. So we grab an Uber XL. We've all got our, our bags, but not a ton of baggage. And <clears throat> this guy pulls up, his window's down. The car is never in park. I don't even know if he's ever fully stopped. And just is like looking at us and is like, oh no, you guys got way too much, way too much <laughs> stuff. And we're like, well, why don't we just Uber see if XL? it can fit? Yeah, it's an Uber XL. And we purposely packed light this trip because we didn't have much room on the bus. So we all have just like carry-ons with us. No, way too much stuff. Well, hey, can we just see if we could squeeze it in the back? No, trunk's full. Trunk's full. Like, that's smart of you to be, to be driving Uber XL with the trunk full. And he's like, <laughs> yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> no, that's it. I'm out of here. It just drives off. Also, I'll just say, still raining. And so he just drives off. We're all out there in the rain. Been waiting on him for a while with our luggage. <laughs> and... So this guy still got his window down. Mike Hell yells at him. He's like, my brother. <laughs> he goes, yo, where are you going? <laughs> Skirt! This guy hits the brakes. And we're like, oh boy, what's going on now? <laughs> Philly guy gets out of the car, slams his door, starts walking towards Mike Hell. One quick side note, his pants are undone and they're kind of falling down. <laughs> pants are undone? Yeah, I was like, have you been given a lot of trips to Paddlefield today? Oh my God. What's going on? Pants are undone? Pants are undone and it's kind of falling down a little bit on him. So I don't know what kind of move he's about to make on Michael. Whoa. This could be anything. Yeah. Thought about getting my phone out, start Uber recording. XL. <laughs> and then, dude, it was just the most, like over here, you have this just like, just hard-nosed Philadelphia Uber driver. Yeah. On the other side, you have a half Puerto Rican, half black guy who ain't budging. Yeah. And they just go back and forth. It just, I've never seen anything like it in really? person. Yeah. It was awesome. Like how? Tell me, give me... Like it, it was just he, like like was was Mike Kel still pretty calm about it? Not this time. Okay, he apologized afterwards. Oh really? <laughs> but it was. I thought he was doing it just to entertain us. I didn't know he was even really upset. Really? And I didn't mind it. I didn't think he needed to apologize. I thought it was awesome. Okay. I'm not used to seeing stuff like this. Just yeah. like um, he was just hey you you know this Mike Kel's like oh, you you can at least take half of us take out why you got to drive away like that why you got to be a prick like that and this okay. guy's like I'm in America I do whatever I want where are you from. Where are you from? So I'm from America. Atlanta? It was like a, a second grade <laughs> yeah. insult. Like, it's free country. It's free country. Do what I want. And uh, 
and Michael's like, get out of here. You know, we don't even want to ride with you. And it's like, oh yeah, I'll do whatever I want. It, it was just weird. Just, you know, just yelling. Wow. It's great. We, uh, we get done with it. This guy's just fired up, <laughs> you know, screeching his tires, driving all through the parking lot, makes one last loop around to come like get one last word in. And, uh, oh, really? He's like, like still thinking about it. Yeah. Still thinking about it. Drives back around close to us, rolls down the window again. And to Michael says, see you later, fat boy. Nice. <laughs> so two things from this. One, he had about 20, 25 seconds to come up with something. Oh, man, how can I? You know, he was like, dang it, I can't think of anything. I wonder if he realizes he's above the BMI. <laughs> this is America, so maybe just one of the, one of the you know, just normal ones. But Second thing is we were getting such a kick out of it. So since the last time we've seen Michael, he did 75 hard, and he's actually lost 40 pounds oh, so, just since November. Yeah. So we were like yelling back, you should have seen him before. <laughs> he was way bigger. <laughs> you think this is big. Uh-huh. <laughs> he did 75 hard. <laughs> Two workouts every day. Uh-huh. You have no idea how much bigger he used to be. <laughs> oh. If you only knew, dude. Uh, uh, we, we wouldn't have tried to get all, him in this XL <laughs> before. <laughs> dude, you don't even know. That's um, funny. So, so he did not drive you. This no, one he did just not left. get resolved. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, anyway, that was just. I, I, there, I'm not even done telling Philadelphia stories, but that's just like a glimpse. <laughs> and it's like Philadelphia. It's just like Isaac and I talked about it. We're like, people love asking us, "What's your favorite city? Least favorite city?" You know, and I, I wouldn't say Philadelphia is my least favorite city, but it does stand out. Yeah. Because I don't know, most cities are kind of the same to me. The people are the same. The businesses are the same. But it's like, man, Philly was different, and. Even after the show, I I ran into Jason Rommel, longtime oh, ghosty, yes, of course. fantasy football champion. Yeah. And I don't even think he was trying to be funny, but he's like, how was your time in Philly? And I was like, oh, you know, it was all right. And he goes, did you get broken into this time? I was like, I forgot. That's what I was going to say. Reminder. Yeah, last time you got your Airbnb broken into. Oh, yeah. First two hours we were there, broken into immediately. <clears throat> Amazing. Well, Philadelphia, maybe this is the issue that you have with Philadelphia. It's not the people. It's the fact that that's rich in history and you don't know that much about history because of Mr. Davis. <laughs> Maybe, it's, it? maybe I'm t- lashing out on Mr. Davis. Because I don't know if you know this. I'm pretty sure. Time and back me up on a Google search. Yeah, just search yeah, yeah. Philadelphia 1776. I'm pretty sure <laughs> the Declaration of Independence was signed in Philadelphia. So, I mean, if you knew that, maybe you'd have a little more sympathy on him. You know? They say Independence Hall, but I thought that was in Missouri. That was yes. Independence, Missouri. Independence, Missouri. Yeah. Scott likes Independence, Missouri more. National treasure can only teach you so much. Mm-hmm. That's right. <laughs> Is that, yeah, that's Philadelphia. Yeah. Obviously. No, not obviously. <laughs> obviously, I mean, they sold the Declaration of Independence, but not only. <laughs> You're in Boston a little bit, Philly a little, a little bit, bit, DC a little, a little bit. bit. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I, I mean, those are great stories that I don't think I could top by any means because once again this week, it's a broken record at this point. It's it's coming to a resolution, but I've, I've been Mr. Mom still. I've just yeah. been, been still struggling. Um, went from Hattie, then Bo and Rosie got it a little bit, but Catherine continues to like not feel awesome. And so she's, she's like, it's, it's, it's been a tough time for her. She's like cried to me multiple times. Like you're doing so much. Thank you. And I'm like, yes, I'm, I'm not going to like leave you out here. You're a team. Yeah, exactly. Team. Um, so anyway, I have, I have lots of little things here and there. Um, one thing just randomly, I went, she ordered some clothes online, (laughs) That makes me sound like she's been sick, but she ordered stuff online. Uh, but I went and picked them up the other day at Legends. Legends is a <clears throat> like a shopping district. Wait, she bought things online but didn't have them shipped to your house? She said it was like way cheaper to buy it or like to have it pick up from the store. And I I didn't Gas question. ain't free. I didn't question it. I said, that's <laughs> fine. You know, whatever. And so she was, uh, you know, resting one day and I was like, I'm going to go do this while the kids are napping, whatever. So on <laughs> Saturday. So yeah. <laughs> that also sounds like something I wouldn't question either. But in my head, I'd be like, how is this saving us money? As I was, so yeah, because like, well, I'll just tell you this. The Legends is alive and well, dude. Like, I feel like, I feel like shopping centers and just brick and mortar in general is just like dying. Like the mall. Dude, it was hard for me to find a parking spot. Like, Legends is like that. It was a Saturday and it was a very nice day on a Saturday. But like, still, it was wild, dude. Um, Legends, that's the place that has like the AMC. Yeah, Kansas City, Kansas. Like, I, I so like the Legends. Over by Sporting KC. Yeah. yeah. Fun. Well, it's fun. Or yeah. by the NASCAR track, you probably know. That's probably your point of NASCAR reference. Track, yeah, NASCAR yeah, track, NASCAR yeah, right, right, track. T Bone, Casey Monarchs. Um, <laughs> there was a Fud Wreckers over there, right? <laughs> we out of business. Right. Ringing um, any bells. Dave and B's, see. I think. Yeah, there's a JC Penny over there. Okay. Dave and Buster's. There used to be a dinosaur cafe. Yeah. No, no longer. 
ah, struggling. So COVID. anyway, yeah, genuinely, like there's been businesses come in and out. So I'm like, this place, yeah, it's, it's going to be dead or whatever. It's not going to be crazy. It was crazy. And then, dude, specifically this one place, I'm trying to think if I could have you guess what it is. I'll, I'll, I'll say this. So Legends is kind of like an outdoor shopping mall. Like it's like, you know, strip mall, kind of kind of like a Branson Landing or whatever. Um, and so this place is popular in malls, but I counted on my way back from picking up these clothes, how many people, just to not over-exaggerate, 47 people were in line for this place. TCBY. On the similar track to that, it's a it's a it's a okay. it's a mall kind of spot. Food or retail? Food. Food. Forty seven people. A- Auntie Anne's. Yes, Let's Auntie go. Anne's. <laughs> Forty seven people. What's so that's special a, about Auntie Anne's? That's a little too much. I was like, maybe they're doing a free pretzel day or something. I was yeah. like trying to find a promotion. The works. <laughs> find a fi- trying to find a sign, <laughs> and it was just people at Legends love Auntie Anne's. I don't know. That is kind of fascinating. It What's was up. It was out the door and far around the corner. I mean, <laughs> good for Ant. I was like, "What? It, it's you know, whatever." Carl Malone signing autographs at Annie Ann's or something. <laughs> Carl Malone. <laughs> I don't know. I was trying to think of somebody <laughs> random. Is Olivia Rodrigo? There you go. Selena Gomez. She's up there. Is uh, <laughs> Haley Steinfeld? Good. Who else, Timon? What other female celebrities do you know? <laughs> Is uh, Billie Eilish signing go. autographs? Is uh, Dua Lipa? There you go. Signing autographs is um, keep going. Um, Law from Pickleball <laughs> signing autographs. <laughs> They're trying to say love, like the musician L A U V. Yeah, Law. Isaac was into them for half minute. Him, whoever, her. Yeah, um, that is interesting. Forty seven, quite a few. Forty seven. Anyway, kind of wild. Just like I don't know what are they what are they putting in those pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm I'm a sucker for a, a nice Annie Ed's pretzel if I'm on a layover, and it's like a it's 9 a.m. So I'm like I'm not ready for lunch. I don't want like a burrito okay. right now, but I got to get something to hold me over. I don't know when we're eating lunch. Hell, I'll get some salt. Get Dude. some carbs. Okay, so you go salt. Yeah, almost always. They make they make them like cinnamon too, right? Yeah, that's a dessert. I don't think I've ever had Annie Ed's in my Whoa. life. Whoa, ever. I don't think. How'd you never just have one at a high school mall or anything? Yeah, growing up, I just I was always too cheap. I think for high school malls, it smelled so good. It smelled so good. I don't think I've ever had Cinnabon. Okay, which always smelled nice. I have had Orange Julius. Oh, uh, that ranks third in the three things you just mentioned. Is that <laughs> right? Should have had Annie Ann's and Cinnabon instead. Because I loved Orange Julius, so I I should have tried. The, I will try the other ones. Yeah, Resolve. Annie Ann's is good. About ten years or so ago, they came out with pretzel bites. Nice. Just pop those things in your mouth instead of the traditional pretzel Better. shape. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, they're great. Cleaner. Okay. Um, okay, what do you think? Maybe it's just me becoming more and more of a glutton, but I feel like my um, definition of a snack has kind of evolved. Like, because you're like, it's a good like little snack, pretzel. I was like, yeah, that is a good snack. Sometimes I'm like, I'm not like hungry for like a big meal, but like I need a little snack. It's like, 2.30, and sometimes I'll, like, get a burger. <laughs> I don't know if that's allowed to be a snack. I don't see a burger as a snack, I don't yeah. think. Just, like, one, like, McDonald's burger. Hey, I, I think, like, one... Dude, I know. This is America. This is America. <laughs> one little McDonald's... One McDonald's cheeseburger. Just, like, the cheeseburger on Let's the be menu. honest. It's a McDouble, because that's what they have deals on. <laughs> uh, On the app, I feel like... Time? The McDouble's never that, never very discounted. It used to be. I, I haven't... I, I, don't, I don't do it. I'm trying to be, eat healthier, so I haven't uh-huh. done it lately. But it used to be... McDouble and fries for two dollars, something like that. Oh yeah, that that's yeah. kind of a meal. <laughs> kind I know of. that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but it yeah. was McDouble and small fries. It's yeah. like like McDonald's knows what they're doing with that. That's true. <clears throat> I, I I don't know if I've gotten to a point where I think a burger is a snack. Like where like as far as going out and getting something, what's a snack to you? Pretzels. To me, an acai bowl is a snack. To Rachel, it's a meal. And see, that's what I'm I'm trying to get a. <laughs> Not away, but like trying to do more, not as much sweet stuff. And so acai, yeah, I agree. That's kind of a snacky thing. Wait, Quick Trip has a whole like thing about this, but the word doesn't make sense. Oh, yeah, snackle. Yeah. Snackle, but that doesn't even like, it's not, it's not a good combination. <laughs> it's of a words. snack. It's a meal. Of course, it's Is it a, a snack? snackle. <laughs> Is it a meal? Yes. It's a S-N-A-C-K-L-E. Yeah, yeah. That's not even, you it's didn't combine them. It's so true. Them. <laughs> L-E, where'd you get L-E, L-E from? Yeah. Snackle. But kind we're talking about it, so... Making me mad just thinking about it. That's pretty dumb. <laughs> the whole word snack. 
and then <laughs> L-E from meal, which aren't Not, even in the right order. Couldn't be sneal. Yeah. <laughs> it's a sneal. It's a snackle. Anyway, I don't know. I, 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 I've I tried to check myself in that, though, recently. of like, man, I just, I, I, I didn't really eat very much for lunch. It's still like four hours till dinner. I should get a snack. And it's like, that's not a snack. That's just a poorly constructed meal. <laughs> yeah, it's just first dinner. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I'll no, have a second a one snack? later. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what I want to get that's a snack. So sometimes I'm just trying to not get any snacks. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, more, more Philly things? More Philly things. Uh, first one. I am on stage. I'm doing my... Uh, Kennedy convertible joke, yada, yada. If you've been there, you know it. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just setting it up. And I usually set it up by saying I fly to Dallas just because I think it's like a, if you know the history, then you know the JFK assassination really did take place. Just a little, just Easter egg for people really paying attention. Right. I always just say that. Like I, I tell this made up story as if it was in Dallas. Anyway, I always say that. I don't think about it. And so I say, so a few months ago, we flew into Dallas. The second that comes out of my mouth, they go bananas on me. Oh, I've yeah. never been treated like this on stage before. <laughs> like, it wasn't just like, like there was a time where in Buffalo where I said, go Chiefs, and they were booing, and it was like, I, I get this. This makes sense. Um, but the, even then, that ended pretty quickly, and we were all laughing about it. And this was like a legitimately just like, and granted, I'm performing in a casino. Not as many of our true fans are there, but yeah, so a few months ago, I flew into Dallas. Oh, boo! Go birds! Yeah, yeah. Go birds! They're all singing and spelling eagles and singing, going crazy. For about a second or so, I couldn't even figure out the connection. So for those who don't know, the Philadelphia Eagles are rivals of the Dallas Cowboys. But it's out football season. I didn't say I went to the Cowboys game. You didn't I say went you're to the, from Dallas. I went to the Dallas airport. <laughs> yes. God forbid. You guys have been to the Dallas airport before. I know half you guys have done it. What's so bad about that? that? Comedian funny. can't set up a joke by saying he went to Dallas. It was crazy being treated that way. It was unbelievable. So I just let them scream for like eight seconds, probably. Yeah, yeah. Just let them. Just say, like, all right, get out of your system. <laughs> just get get rid of that before Trey gets up here. Dallas, and uh, just the word Dallas triggered them that much. It was wild how insecure they were. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, just screamed at me for like eight seconds uh, about the town of Dallas. And so then I just made fun of them for a while um, about how insecure they were and just how you, could, you can't take me saying another, you know, fan base's city. And yeah, like I said, like it'd be one thing if you like had a personal connection to Dallas. If you yeah. said I'm from, I grew up and born and raised in Dallas, Texas. You know, people will like like oh we don't like that town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like one person if they're from Dallas, cheers. Whatever people, whatever. But it's like for you to just be like. Uh, I was reading a, a book the other day and it mentioned Dallas. Boom! <laughs> Books suck! Books that have Texas in them are the worst! <laughs> <laughs> Go birds! That's what it was like. Nick Sirianni's like leading the charge in the front. See ya! Row. Yeah. <laughs> he might have been there. He was leading the charge. Dude, it was unbelievable. But I was like, I guess I, I should win him back. So then I ended up making some joke about how... Well, what I tell you guys... Uh, for, what was the joke even? Basically, like when I flew there, it was late January, so the Cowboys weren't playing anyway. So uh, like there that. you go. And so, whatever. Um, Neither were the Eagles. Boom! Boom! Roasted. Go birds. <laughs> uh, Our Kelsey still plays for us. <laughs> um, that's pretty funny. So yeah, just just wild. Just felt just felt weird. Hmm. So I don't know. No, it's great. Um, I, I I went to KU basketball game last night. Not against BYU. Oh, nice. You're going to a lot of KU games. I've been to three this year. Yeah. That is not very many. Oh, it's not? Not compared to last year. How many home games do they have in a year? 25, maybe? Holy cow. 25 home games? Am I wrong? 20? Uh, yeah, 22. 22. <laughs> Simon looked it up real quick. I don't know. Oh. Maybe, maybe, maybe not that many. I feel like I've not gone to very many. Gotcha. Anyway, uh, I went to one... A couple months ago, then I went to this one. Uh, anyway, but they played K-State. It was fun. I have a few random, uh, what's the word, musings. Observations? Oh, musings. Observations, yes, about the game. First of all, funny story. Uh, I was meeting my dad there. He he came, he went to dinner beforehand with some friends. So I was meeting him there. And classic dad, like, I'm like, dad, let's get there at 7.15. Um, game starts at 8. He calls me at 7 o'clock. He's like, hey, just checking where you are. I'm at the front front gates. I'm like, well, Dad, we said 7:15. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'll just, I'm just hanging out here. I'll, I'll just be here whenever you're ready. 
And I'm like, all right. Well, I was, I was like, well, dad, you could just screenshot uh, your phone and send me my ticket and then you can go in. I was like, do you know that screenshot? He's like, I think so. I was like, yeah, you just press the two buttons on the side. He's like, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe I'll just wait for you out here. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then like six minutes later, took him a while, but he sent me a screenshot of a pick, uh, ticket. So How anyway, much later did you end up getting there? I got there at 7. I I, I parked at 7.15, so I probably didn't get there till 7.22. He was a little, yeah. He, he That's just classic dad. Like, hey, let's get there at 7.15. He'll be there at 7 waiting for you, you know, kind of thing. So you can't really be earlier than my, my dad places, but that's fine. Um, a few funny things, just, yeah, I got, I got three, three things about basketball games. One of them, it's amazing without fail, Jake, and you'll, you, you understand this. Cause I think as a basketball player, somebody who's played plenty, this isn't super common, but it's also not rare enough to elicit the reaction that it gets. Can you imagine what I'm about to say? No. When somebody shoots the ball, and the ball goes in between the rim and the backboard and gets stuck. Oh! They call it, yeah, a wedgie. And people, every time, without fail, the entire crowd seems like it's never seen this before and just goes <laughs> bonkers for it. I will say I've never heard it called a wedgie. No? No. Is that a new term? Maybe. Played basketball all my life. Never heard wedgie. I don't think I'd ever really heard of it until recently. So maybe it is recent. Yeah. Cool. Either um, way, I'm with you, though. The same thing that happens in pro pickleball. I'm sure we all know this. Ernie? No. When the ball uh, kind of just um, just glances the net and then rolls over it, they call it a net roll. It's like this thing that happens on accident. These boomers in the crowd can't help themselves. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> people, yeah. like, meme it and make fun of it. They're like, really? Geez, these people can't help themselves. Every single time. Oh! oh! Oh, oh. I feel like I'd be right there with him. Though, I feel like. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that seems that seems cool to me. I feel like I'd be like, oh, look at that. Well, it that's, stopped it for a second. It's fair, but it's like, how many of these people have never watched a basketball game before? Like, it's one thing yeah. if like Timon's never been to a basket like a KU game. That's true. He's there, and this happens. He's like, I didn't. That the physics of that. What the? But I mean, so many people are just diehard KU fans. There, like, know all the chants, know all like the clapping cadences for all the different cheers. And yet, when a ball goes in between a rim and a backboard, it is mind blowing. Oh. No way, no way, no way, no way. Uh, so, wrote that down. Can I ask you a question? What percentage of men and women do you think are screaming at this? I mean, maybe not as many as it seems, but I would say 40%. Whoa, Screaming. So, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I'm asking um, men oh. versus women. Oh, oh, I see. It's a funny way to just refer to people. So what percentage of the men and the women are, are screaming? At <laughs> Don't exclude. Uh, no children. No children. Yeah. Kids, the adults. we understand. They're, they're going to be floored. Um, uh, I don't know. That just seems, I'm just generalizing. How many people live in the United States? Men and women. Men and women. Non-binaries, forget them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I. I, okay, there, I'll say there I were, think women scream a lot more. I was going to say, though, <laughs> uh, yeah, I understand that's where you're going with it, but there were plenty of men around me, like some old men that were like, ho oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, look! <laughs> Robert, we've seen this before. <laughs> <laughs> I've only been to three games this year. I think it's happened another time. Um, and it's also not that impressive because it means that you missed a shot pretty badly. By quite a bit, yep. yeah. Um, anyway, so that was funny. Uh, that happened. And then a few different things. Uh, oh. The game on the screen, you know, it's it's not just basketball, but like every sporting event does it these days on the Jumbotron where they put the ball under one helmet or one basket or whatever. Where is it at? Maybe it's not. I know it's not probably intended for 33-year-old men, but it has got way too easy. <laughs> it is. It is. I was I was frustrated with how easy. Like, I, What percentage of men and women, children, do you think got it right? A hundred percent of everybody. <laughs> I, it was over and I just looked at my dad and I was just like, oh. <laughs> like I was just disappointed that I was like, surely it's not over. And then it just stopped moving and it shows you the number. I'm like, it's number one. Of course. Duh. And then people went nuts for that when they got it right. Mm. Last thing. Hold um, on. I have something to say about that. Okay. I, uh, I really, uh, enjoyed back in the day when I was my first job, uh, scorekeeping Springfield Cardinals games. You go to enough of the games, you see a lot of the same tricks. Then it became fun to guess before the game would start. Okay. Really like doing that. Yeah. Um, on the alternative side of things, typically you'd see a ketchup, relish, mustard race. Yes. And that is where you would typically guess beforehand and just kind of randomly guess. But you go to enough Spring of Cardinals games, you start <laughs> learning like, all right, who's in the suit today? 
Like, oh yeah. Oh, they're always live. You're saying? Yeah, they would. They would do it. The, the, yeah, like yeah, an yeah. actual person is sprinting. Because the Royals games back in the day. Sometimes it was live. A lot of times it was just a computer thing. And just it was never man. the guy in the lead at the beginning that would Yeah, win. like yeah. Uh, Mario Kart. You, yes. you almost want to be behind at the beginning. Right, right. Yeah, so, so you're, maybe in the future you go to enough KU games where you're just like, you're sitting back, relaxing. I don't even need to watch. We've got to guess two. Yeah, easy. Yeah. So, you're, yeah, you're sizing up the people. You're like, listen, if you're too skinny, you're not going to be that fast. But, like, that guy, I mean, Michael's not going to win. Yeah, and I feel like I started to get to know some of these people they were choosing, too. It was like, that's that... That dark-headed kid. I think he was catch-up yesterday and won. He's in mustard today. <laughs> There's like eight people at the game, so they're like, yeah, he's a, he's a returning vet. Yeah, you can be mustard <laughs> to today. You want sure. That's yeah, funny. it was always a good time. Yeah, well, at the Royals games back in the day with the, with the you know, alternating uh, helmet F- Find thing the with, ball. Find the ball. Sometimes the, the helmet would go off the screen for a second. No, that's not right. But that made it way harder. Maybe that's <laughs> – I just have a high, high of a standard there, so – uh, and then the last thing, just, just a pet peeve in sporting events in general. Most sporting events, basketball included, have plenty of times where there is no action, like there's a dead ball, foul, out of bounds, whatever. People need to understand, same with football, baseball, wait until there's one of those moments to go past somebody on your seat in, in the row. Yeah. There was, I mean, there was a time where it was a fast break, which means that <laughs> sometimes you get like a dunk or something really exciting, and this guy just walked right in front of me, and I was like, you know, I was trying to like almost make it dramatic, like how much I was trying to look around. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> so that's a pet peeve of mine. That's a that's warranted, and that to like people who don't understand sports, like big whoop, they go to the bathroom. But that I get that. Yeah, and it's just like especially like football, where like there's forty seconds of nothing before there's six seconds of a play. There's such little time of yeah, that. like you just gotta wait for a second. Like same with baseball. I mean, there's one pitch. And then there's however many seconds of dead time where you have plenty of time to get back to your seat. Yeah. So just think about it, guys. So just think about it. Just if you guys could pray about it, <laughs> think about it. Um, how about MainStreetRoasters.com? You guys know about it? Present company excluded? Excluded. Included men and women. Do you guys know about it? Mm-hmm. Uh, MainStreetRoasters.com. They sponsor our podcast. Ever heard of it? <laughs> they sell coffee. Ever, ever tasted ever, it? Ever, ever tried it? They sell uh, coffee beans, coffee grounds. Ever smelled it? Coffee beans. They sell t-shirts and mugs. Ever felt it? Ever worn them? They. What's the last sense? They play music inside their coffee shop. Ever heard it? Oh, wait, I already did ever heard it. Dang Sorry. It. I, I was going... They, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I already did all senses. I'm done. Dude, okay. <laughs> Whatever. Put a pin, put a pin in... Uh, Ghost Rider's Photoshop, real quick. Sorry, um, keep reading. Keep Ghost Rider's Photoshop. Yeah, just that. That's that's what I need to rem- remind myself of something. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm trying to find a. Somebody said something about um, Main Street Roasters in our Facebook group, so I was trying to find it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I've gone through the five senses. Now we're going to go through the three elements of um, life: earth, wind, and fire. <laughs> They're located in Indianapolis. Earth. Earth. Ever. It's in Tornado Alley. Win. Win. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee served hot if you ask for it. Fire. fire. All right. Gen Z will say fire. We've done the five senses. We've done the three uh, elements of Earth. Next. Um, I can't find it. As Marvel characters, <laughs> they. I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I can't find it. But basically, somebody said something along the lines of like the caramel flavor of mainstream roasters oh. is like candy. Yes. It's like so good. And somebody's like, oh, the caramel one's great, but this one's also great. I mean, people just, I love watching. Oh, oh, Michaela Walton, Main Street Roaster salted caramel is like drinking candy. Just bought their Ethiopian roast, says Mark Becker. First purchase for the discount, 90% uh, full price. 90% with, of regular. Uh, GRKC. Super unleaded. Uh, Tammy Mason, we got the blueberry crumble. It's good. And Miller Blend or whatever it was called. So good. I, I am convinced you cannot name something. You cannot... F- Name the flavor of something blueberry crumble and it not taste amazing. I will have blueberry crumble in any form. I will have it in a can. That's a good word. I will have it in a muffin form. It's, the muffin's probably the best. It's the it's the crumble plus the blueberry, right? Because uh, b- blueberry together. fine, blueberry fine. fine, blueberry scone. I'll eat it. Fine, blueberry crumble scone. Now, Whoa. Oh, now, now I want to take a peek. Two, please. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so blueberry crumble, I mean, they just they've never made a bad version of it. Yeah. So try out the blueberry crumble, uh, Shannon Cox. I just got that one in the mail two days ago. I picked that one and Turtle Sunday this go around. I think I like the Turtle Sunday even more. Wow. Wow. So <laughs> that was Cox who said that. Yep. Dang. I trust her. Yeah. So uh, anyway, buy mainstreetroasters.com, GRKC, 10% off. And oh, take a little pin out. Looks like it was in Ghost Rider's Photoshop. Dude, you need to go to our Facebook group right now <laughs> okay. and look at Jake Allen 25 minutes ago. I <laughs> I just pulled up this Facebook. I was like, whoa, that almost looks like me. And I was like, wait, that is me. <laughs> Dude, oh, can't wait to see what this is. It says, fellow ghosties, I feel like I've been given a power too great for any one man to have. Whoa. But nonetheless, whoa. here we are. <laughs> Behold, AI face swaps of Jake and Brad. Time, and you got to put these on the screen later. Whoa. I will. Mark I this will. down to edit and post because there's a uh, picture of Jake as Top Gun Maverick. <laughs> there's a picture of me as School of Rock, Jack Black. <laughs> and I'm obsessed with this picture of myself. The only comment I see right now says, now this is why we get on Facebook. <laughs> 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 oh, there's yeah, there's just comments after comments already. Five comments. Yeah. This is yeah. I feel like Scott would be upset if he saw this one. We both blend into these pictures really well. I look like that is me in that picture. Well, that, it's it's AI. He said like AI face swap. But still, how many times have you been like, hey AI, generate me this kind of picture? And it gives me eight fingers or something. That's true. <laughs> you know? Well, yeah. The fingers are already in place here. That's true. Wow. That is so fun. That's awesome. I want to make that every single one of my pictures that I can make it. <laughs> <laughs> because that's not like I've this never. This is like, awesome. I can't stop not, staring at it. That, that picture of me doesn't exist. Like I've never. I don't think that he took a picture of me going like this. You know what I mean? Like I'm that's commenting now. Oh, he like wow. somehow trained it on you guys' faces or something. Like Jake. Yeah. Jake has not done that <clears throat> like thing with his lips ever. That is like creepy. Yeah. But awesome. Okay. But awesome. So, long, so make 30 more. As long as they use it for stuff like this. <laughs> hey, Jake, that was great. Now do it 40 more times. <laughs> yeah, I said that last night during volleyball under my breath just so Rachel could hear it. Like a guy uh, spiked it and we didn't have a blocker. I mean, this guy hit it so hard and it hit off my arms and, you know, went to the side. And I was like, yeah, do it 40 more times. <laughs> Try that again. Yeah. Yeah. You think you can do that? Do it 40 more do times. Do it 40 more times. <laughs> Dude, last night we played uh, an undefeated team. In volleyball. Still undefeated or? Luke Hoagland text, hey, going to KU game. I say, Luke, they have 25 of them a yeah, year. Yeah, dude, come on. <laughs> Not a huge deal. He <laughs> says, I think that's way too many. <laughs> I said, all right. <laughs> I said. Um, I'm looking it up. No problem. Uh, Kalen, Br uh, Brant, Jenna Brant's, Brant Pretty. Oh, okay, okay. Our other uh, Division One volleyball player says, hey, can't make it. I said, guys, <laughs> we're playing the undefeated team. Don't you understand? This is a big deal to me. I go out and I get Trey Kennedy. I go out and I get Ringer. no one else. Can't okay. find anyone. Okay. But what I do is this. I go click, click, click. Uh, no, what I do is I get there a little early and I start scouting. And luckily, the last time I scouted for talent, this girl could have been underage. This time, everyone was old and I was looking at dudes. Yeah, found the most flamboyant one possible and uh, got him on the team. And uh, yeah, three sets to none. We beat uh, the undefeated team last night. It was a ton of fun. It was a blast, nice, dude. So we got the tournament next week. So Tuesday night, uh, find out if we can win the championship. So how does the, does the tournament work similar to how the basketball one does? It's interesting. They take the top seven teams. It seems like top a tough 17. bracket. I okay. guess the one seed gets the bye and then... Single elimination from there. Um, <laughs> yeah, really. Kind of a weird bracket to set yourself up for it. But uh, anyway, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it was a ton of fun last night. I met uh, new friends and, um, yeah, went 3-0. It was a blast. Maybe, uh, depending on what time you play, we could come root, root you on. Oh, that's fun. They haven't, uh, because it's a tournament, we don't know a set time when we play yet. So they haven't announced it yet. Okay, well, let me know. I say you come to hy Arena at 7 p.m., yeah. That's probably safe. You're gonna see some action, probably. Hattie, Hattie can wear her uh, cheerleading costume. Oh, uh, that'd be a blast! Wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> that would be so fun, <laughs> dude. You you should come. Anyone else should come too, just to see. And I know I've talked about this for two years. To see Rachel and Isaac together, really, because Rachel is one of the best in the world at what she does, setting a volleyball, and no one gets higher than Isaac McDonald. Yeah, and so if he's on, like no one can stop him. Right, it's awesome. Has he been fairly injury-free recently? Yes. So and he's getting like, better and better. The last two weeks, 
I've been like, dude, we got to get you like some single women to start coming to these games. Like they need to see what you're doing out here because yeah. you're doing really impressive things and only us five see it. And uh, more people need to see what you're people, doing on the volleyball hey, court. Let's, let's uh, let, let them watch. watch. Let's let them watch. Let them watch. Let them spike. Let them uh, bump. Let them sit. Let them watch. That's fun. Because I remember somebody posted way back in the day on the Facebook group, like a Rachel Coop highlight or something or like an interview thing mm, with Rachel. Yeah. And in between some of her interviews, they'd show things. And I'm like... I was very impressed. I didn't know that that's how you set things. Some, like sometimes you just like shoot it over to the over, like over oh, the net or something. Oh yeah. It's like you can do that's allowed. That was that looks unstoppable. She had one set last night that I like. I kept, I referred to her as Dirk Nowitzki because it was truly she got a bad pass and she's fading away and on one foot like shoots it all the way across the other side of the court to Isaac and he spikes it and we he gets the kill. I was like that was amazing and she's like that's just like what. You practice. That's, That's what I had to do for five years. I'm like, no, I don't accept that. That was amazing. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was. Cr I've never seen anyone else do that. That was awesome. That is funny. Um, just, yeah, she's just used to it, but the rest of us are like, that looks impossible. I get a perfect pass right to my <laughs> bot, and I like. I don't know if it's gonna go straight. I think like, I got it. I, yeah. like, I, it's not a given that yeah. I can do this, and so yeah, I really appreciate it. So yeah, volleyball's fun and. I met a whole crew of uh, volleyballers at the blackjack table uh, Friday night in Philadelphia. So one good thing about Philadelphia, I made some best friends. Oh, yeah. This was like, you know, I thought of you because they were one day friends. Okay. Trey was at a table. Isaac was at a table. It was just packed. It was really full. So I was like, I'll wander around. And there was a crew of like four dudes all in their 20s playing blackjack together. I was like, this looks like they look like friendly faces. This yeah, looks yeah. awesome. It's when you can tell they're together. It's like way more fun. Yes. You and know? so I snuck in there and we had a blast for two hours. I just became best friends with these guys. Yeah. And you were their libero. Yeah. Well, funny you say that. Two, oh, did I already say volleyball? <laughs> yeah. Uh, two of them played college volleyball. One of them knows Rachel's you and I coach because he is still in like the volleyball circuit coaches club. Wow. Knows all this. So, oh, we had a we had a good time. It How was so fun. How did you so figure fun. out that they were volleyball guys? Um, I mean, just two hours worth of talking. <laughs> it just came up, yeah. I guess. Uh, I don't know how, but yeah, that was really fun and. Yeah, we all won money. We all won big together. Yeah. This one guy won $2,000. He bet $10 on the poker hand, and oh, he was dealt like wow. suited queens, like lucky ladies or yeah, whatever yeah. this casino had, and won two grand and just got up and walked away. We didn't see him the rest of the night. Oh, really? I don't know where he went or what he did. <laughs> Good for him. He never know? came back. Um, but afterwards, I was like, should we do like a jersey swap? Like, I feel like we just had like a great game together. Like, we almost did in the casino. I was like ready to take my shirt You're off. You're like shirtless. Isaac's looking over. You're just holding it up. I was like, anybody seen Jake? Oh, my gosh. She's shirtless <laughs> over there with those volleyball players. Um, That's great. Had a great time. Uh, which reminded me, they saw, uh, they asked me what I was doing there. I was like, oh, I performed tonight. They're like, oh, that's cool. We just got back from a comedy show. We saw Andrew Schultz tonight. Okay. I was like, oh, I saw Andrew Schultz this morning at Pedophilia. I forgot to mention that earlier. Oh, really? He was in the paddle court next to us. Padel. Padel court next to us. <laughs> I just love, sorry. I'm just imagining, you know, YouTube has like a transcript of like what we say. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I'm sure YouTube's trying to figure out the algorithm well, of like, what is this who, do we, about? who do we share this with? <laughs> <laughs> I saw Andrew Schultz at paddle, Paddlephilia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good luck algorithm. <laughs> Who's this one for? <laughs> Oh, uh, that was kind of fun. Yeah, we were, you know, it was really cool because this is the first instance I've ever had of seeing someone that I like follow online and like occasionally I listen to their podcast sometimes. And it was that feeling of like, why doesn't he look at me like I look at, I know you. Mm. Oh, wait, he doesn't know me. Yeah, yeah, and being yeah. being like, dude, you should know me. We're both comedians. I listen to your right. podcast. You have no idea who I am, though. Did you say something? No. Really? I mean, he was in the middle of playing. We were, we were never both not playing at the same time. Yeah, it's not like something you can just like yell over. It's the kind of thing? Yeah. Okay. Um, if you guys don't know, Andrew Schultz, Glass. very famous comedian, like kind of a rising star in the comedy world. One yeah. of the top 10 probably right now. Yeah. Nailed it. Um, but yeah. Yeah. He's the man. So it was cool. It was fun to feel that feeling of like, I know him and he doesn't know I exist. That's just Dude, cool. That's what's crazy though. Did you see that clip of Steph Curry and Shane Gillis meeting each other and Steph, he's like, Hey, what's up? I'm Shane. And Steph Curry's like, yeah, I know who you are. Like, what if all he's got to do is see like three videos of you and at least he knows your face. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Trey is big enough and you've been, you're with Trey and like, whatever, like he might at least like, if you said something to him uh, and that would be wild to me, like that would be wild to me. Like, you know, like if, if Patrick Mahomes is like, oh yeah, I recognize you, man. And I'm like, <laughs> no way <laughs> that could happen. That's what I'm saying. It like it could happen. Cause there's so many people, I don't know their names online, but at least if I saw them Got and, they, and they mentioned like, yeah, I make videos like, oh dude. Yeah, totally. I, I've seen you online. Yeah. You know what I mean? I remember hearing a firsthand account that someone saw Tiger Woods watching one of our Mood Swings videos. No so that's fun. way. 
so if that could happen, Patrick Holmes for sure. Yeah, I've seen a couple of our videos. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, not not on the same plane at all. But when Jeff Bethke was like, "Yeah, I listen to their podcast sometimes. It's a great podcast." I was like, "No way." Yeah, Dave Ramsey commented on your video. That's true too. He knows us. Oh, Dave. So rice and beans. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, random question for you, Jake. Go ahead. Uh, Catherine asked me this. I think it was gen- genuinely out of the blue. Um, kind of a fun thought, though. I, I talked about Instagram Live, so if, you're, if you've been on the Livers, you saw it. But. I, do I saw you live at like midnight last night. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I was like, I wonder what you happened. You guys were awake? <laughs> no, of course I, 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 no, I saw. I think I saw it in the morning. Or I think I was awake, but didn't like have my phone with me. Because I was uh, like, what, what is Brad talking about at 1130 at night? Because that's why I texted you guys. Because I realized the you were grind, still dude. awake. At 11.45. So that's why I was like, hey, just FYI, I will get the titles and descriptions. Oh. Because I knew you were awake. Uh-huh. There you go. So. I didn't you know. even, uh, <laughs> I, I do not disturb after 10 or whatever. So I didn't even. Live stream only. Live stream only. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got back from the KU game at like 11.30 and I hadn't, mm. I hadn't done my quick cues or my uh, phony phrases yet. Oh, gotcha. And so I read like, I, I had written like maybe 10 quick cues down and then a few phony phrases. And I was like, Ghosties will help me with these. Nice. Went live. Had the phone right here. Had my computer. Had some good times together. So Dude, fun. My, my phony phrases are so stupid. They're so phony. They're so stupid. I can't wait. <laughs> um, Wednesday's anyway, got to be a great episode. Live episode or live 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 stream. I asked this question. Catherine asked it to me. She's like, "What if we were given five hundred thousand dollars today? What would we do today if we got five hundred thousand dollars?" I think about this stuff all the time. But she's like, "But she's like, literally. I mean, I mean, what would we do today?" <laughs> She's like, not, not what this we, afternoon. And that, and that, cause like, not what would we do with the money? What would we like? Would we buy a nice house? Would we do this? Would we treat ourselves with this sweet trip or whatever? She's like, new drapes. What would we do today? <laughs> like what, like what would our, like, what would your life look like? Uh, your, how would your immediate life change? How would, yeah. Today. That's right. Cause like, I don't know. I think I could pay off the house in a day. I'd go oh. on. I would do it. Would you? I would. Yeah. Get it done. Just get it out of there. Every day you don't, more interest. <laughs> I think I would. I mean, yeah. If the money's in your account, okay. I would go to well, whatever it is, movement yeah, mortgage.com. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I would say I'd like to I'd like to make a payment. Uh-huh. Two hundred and sixty four thousand dollars <laughs> or whatever it is. That would feel awesome, dude. Okay. Okay. All right, so there's that. Yeah. I would do that. Okay. I, I don't know. All right, your turn. Let me think well, okay. what stuff I, I, I have be. thought about it a little bit because I'm like, I don't know. I already, this is, I realized this personality as I was thinking about these things. I was like, I am so tight with money or so cheap sometimes where I, like, I was already like thinking like, well, I, I don't want to spend too much on the first day. Cause then it's just like going to be run out before we even did anything. Like, cause I was Stop like, it. we could, I was like, Catherine, we should go buy new furniture for our house. And then I was like, well, that's going to cost probably if we, if we did it right, 10 grand or 20 grand or something, if we were really going crazy with it. And then all of a sudden, we don't only have four hundred eighty grand left. <laughs> like that's how crazy I am. That's how. That's how I'm like. We're Next just saying, you know, we're, we're wasting this money. <laughs> and then we're not even putting this furniture. Like we're we're buying it for this house, but then we're going to buy a new house with it. Like all these different things. And so I thought, and I said, we would do like kind of like some very minor splurgy things. Like Hattie, what do you want to do? You want to go get the biggest Andy's ice cream ever? Let's do it. But we would do it in a limo. We would. <laughs> I would hire a limo, and we would all drive all over the city in a limo together as a family. That's fun. Yeah. Then you'd put the rest toward that like estate, like in Bucyrus, Kansas. Remember that one? Yes, that? dude. That's like they just the rest goes to that. Yes. Any any ghosties <laughs> want to invest in that estate with us? I think it's still for sale. Seven million. Estate's a great word. You know it's nice if they say estate. <laughs> estate yeah. sale. You don't have a three bed, two bath estate. No, you don't. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, I need to be thinking of more fun ideas like that. Everything I'm thinking of is practical. It's like, well, I could Good for you. Put a, You're um, grown up. Let's see. What if I just like Venmo to a bunch of people a thousand dollars. That's fun too. That would be fun. But then all of a sudden you only have four hundred eighty thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah, just out of the blue. I think I would do it. You could only get through like five before Venmo's like, I think you're getting thumbs <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I want to do it a fun way where like. Each person that gets Venmoed, they also get sent an old video or picture of us or something together. I think that's how I would do it. Okay. Like, hey, thinking of you, what's your Venmo? I'm like, okay. oh, wow, that, what? You just want to send me a yeah. Venmo because of this old video of us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a thousand dollars. How'd you get this? I don't know. Brad gave it to me. Yeah. Brad gave me five hundred thousand dollars in this scenario. <laughs> don't ask. Yeah. <laughs> uh, another one that somebody said on the live stream Instagram. Cool feature, dude. It's wild. Um, yeah. They said, and then I was like, that's awesome. Is they were like. I would call up five of my friends and say, meet me at the airport. And we just look at flights 
and we would just find a flight and just go there. Yeah. Like today. How fun would that be to go to the airport? Book it seemed flight. it seemed pretty sketchy to TSA probably to be like, I don't know, uh next Tahiti. flight. Yeah. <laughs> but like you just go and you just figure it out. That sounds awesome. With the boys, just like no plans. We'll just figure it out as we go. Yeah. Have, do another golf trip, you and Garrett. Sports <laughs> yeah. book. Yeah. Yeah. Garrett and I just, yeah, we we put our money in the sports book. Oh, that sounds fun. So many things you could do. I would I would be out of the money quick. <laughs> Time, you got any ideas? <laughs> I don't know. I like the, I like the idea of just like having a spontaneous, no money limit trip. That sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But see, that's where that's where I think like no money limit. That don't that that could really get out of hand quick, and then you lose that's all your money. That's very true. I, I, like five hundred thousand. I'm like, that's that's so like it's that's so much, so much money. But then I'm like, but it could but go that's quick. That's so little when in like your if you if you go too extravagant. Exactly. Yeah. It's like almost just like well, I could just live my life, but just like a little bit. Less worried about money. I yeah. Like. <laughs> and I barely am right now. I'm like 17 years old. So like, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Catherine was like, I mean, I think I'd maybe go to McLean's and get like a really nice coffee. Maybe Two get butter rolls. Maybe get alternate milk instead of just whole milk, like oat milk in there <laughs> or something. Go crazy. Yeah. My other idea initially, and then I was like, well, that's not as fun as driving around a limo, but maybe I put a down payment on a house in Kansas City. Don't tell my parents about it until they're ready to move to Kansas City and then say, surprise, I got a house for you. That's cool. Something like that. Yeah. That'd your, be fun. Your dad would cry buckets. <laughs> <laughs> You'd cry so hard. Buckets. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Would you ever do it? Would you do anything spiteful with the money? <laughs> Give me an example. I, don't, I, I can't even think you of something You go to the, the next of pickleball courts and you, you put up $10,000 worth of signs that say, stop <laughs> leagues. You go to the next of pickleball courts and say, uh, I'll give you $1,000 to be in my league and it meets here every <laughs> night <laughs> for the next three weeks. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> you saw what I put on the Alexa Pickleball page. Let's talk about it. Oh, dude, wait. I would make like an ama- a sick like movie or like oh. film. That'd be awesome. Where would that the would money go? Awesome. Towards talent or like crew? I think I Production. just like budget it out as well as I can. Like New like, Zealand like, flights. It's like a five hundred thousand dollar movie. I feel like you would spend it all on one movie. Would your goal be well, to make money on the movie, or is it just a passion project? I don't is know. Is this an investment, or is this a spend it all and say, "Remember that one time when someone gave me five hundred thousand dollars? I'm still broke." <laughs> <laughs> no one Sweet watched my movie, short though. film on Vimeo. <laughs> yeah. So that's true. Yeah, o- honestly, like, okay, sp- make a hundred thousand dollar movie. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Promote it with, with a hundred thousand more dollars. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. And then it Wait. gets super big. Yeah. And then I have three hundred thousand left over and all the movie proceeds. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Super big. Where would your uh, marketing budget go? I have F- no Facebook idea. ads. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Banner ads. Yeah. That's how. That's how movies do it. That's how I find out about movies. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> like in between Instagram stories. That yeah. would actually work. Why? Why don't they do that? It's Maybe true. they do. They just know I don't watch movies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, movies are a really good investment these days. It seems like a lot of people are making movies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, the next Pickleball League. You, so, mentioned, you mentioned that you saw my activity on there. I only saw a comment. I purposely did not watch the video. I don't even really know what you're talking about. <laughs> so s- just set it up. I, okay, I know. well, I mean, I, I didn't really truly watch it, but I saw, you know, this the next Pickleball page, if you guys don't remember, this one person runs it and just is kind of a crotchety old man who we saw had the Lenexa pickleball page shirt. Uh, <laughs> anyway, just, but just like, it's like very adamant. Do not play leagues at Lenexa pickleball, all my these bad, different things. Bad, no, you're bad. good. And, uh, you know, I don't get on there often, but every once in a while it's on my feed. And I just saw this thing that said BDA Lenexa, which BDA is the name of the park, the courts, BDA Lenexa, Kansas, most player friendly courts in the city. And then I realized it's a video. And so, Let's just, can we watch the video? You want to just, I mean. I'll just, click on it when time it clicks on it. Okay. So I'm cool, up cool, to cool. speed. Three, two, one. Go. And we've clicked. Sunny days in Kansas City. <laughs> Hidden balls. Whoa. Feeling so free. So free. <laughs> Photos. BDA bangers, we're hitting hard. Pickleball fever, we're raising the bar. I, I did not. 
What is this What's shot of just... Activities? They're only activities in the GoPro? upper left corner. <laughs> There's nothing happening. What is that video? <laughs> what are they... This, this is great. one of the worst videos I've ever seen. This is... Yeah, that was <laughs> impressively bad. Just doing this to a GoPro yeah. for 15 <laughs> seconds. Oh, wow. A little aerial action. Yep. I mean, but the photo cuts off yeah. two and a half quarters. Yeah. Look at this, it's got 50 <laughs> tabs. <laughs> it's a screenshot of the whole browser. Oh, just a stock photo of like a cartoon pickleball. <laughs> okay, this has all the courts now. This yep. aerial shot. Oh, sideways photo. Yep. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, wrong orientation here. It's just, it's just a work of art. <laughs> there's nothing like it. Pickleball At least there's fever. not like a big like, like, uh, image of like the editing software in the lower corner <laughs> power director <laughs> thanks for watching uh so there's one comment on the whole thing wait wow did they take away my comment oh no what oh, happened to your com wait maybe you commented it on um when he shared it to like the page or something oh surely he, he, you know maybe oh, you commented yeah, on now the that post. i'm looking at it he's he shared the same video it looks like at least four times oh wow he has he just keeps um <laughs> Oh, uh, this comment says song and lyrics are property of Mickey Collins. So who's the voice? Mickey property Collins. of <laughs> Mickey Collins. That is so funny that like that's not just like a pickleball song they found online. That talks about BDA. Like that is a custom. Oh yeah, Lenexa pickleball fever song. They're like I am so into <laughs> this venue. I have this so location. Glad I waited to watch and listen to that. <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> I know, like, like I said, I hadn't really analyzed it too much either. I just saw it. I was like, this is ridiculous, and I'm going to comment on it. So I just said, <laughs> I just said, is there a download link for this? I'd love to use it for my ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> I purposely misspelled ringtone for some reason. That's all I saw. And I was like, yeah, we're talking about this on the podcast. Four exclamation points. I'd love to use it for my ringtone. <laughs> and then they sent me the Google Drive link for it. <laughs> And then for whatever reason, I was just really into uh, misspelling things. <laughs> you gotta. So I just, in all caps, go, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> that was the nice thing. You got the the, the actual, <laughs> was it the MP4 file, the raw. Yeah. We could so. make our own music videos to that song. <laughs> what if Time and I go in and just make the best music video of all time? Just to show them, just like, hey, we made this. That would be hilarious. For $500,000. That's right. <laughs> you can have it. That's what we would do with our money. We should make a video together sometime, time in. Yeah. I and mean, we kind of do, <laughs> but in different ways. Like a super creative, like a more like... Like a, like a $100,000 movie. Yeah. $100,000 budget. Uh-huh. 45-day plan. <laughs> if you're curious, the, the name of it, I'm looking now at February 23rd. They also posted just the audio version. It's called BDA Bangers Theme Song. Oh, I was hoping it was Pitbull Fever. So. This Facebook page is a treat. I mean, it, it's basically like this guy that's obsessed with pickleball. That's also like his personal page. On February 25th at 1 p.m., he posted a purple <laughs> rectangle with one sentence in the middle of it. It says BDA is packed, period. Well, look down at February 21st. Why do we even post that? If it's packed, no one can come. That's, I think, his point. Like, don't come. <laughs> do not come. There's too many people here. <laughs> I'm just going to start doing that. I'm just going to post that and then... No one will ever come, and I'll just always have a court. <laughs> BDA is back. Stop. February 21st, he posted a picture of a dermatology office that said, current situation, <laughs> dot, 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 wear sunscreen, period, dermatology room. Yes, he did. On the Lenexa that. Pickleball page, like admin posting that. Anyway. Um, this is great. That's enough Pickleball talk, I suppose, at least Pickleball page. Um, but Hold on. One under the dermatology one. Did you see the one below it? Uh, we got a kind of a red-orange rectangle this time. What time is it? <laughs> Pickleball time. BDA is wide open. Wide open. All caps. <laughs> what time is it? That's fun. That is awesome. Bum, bum, bum in Kansas City. Pickleball fever. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty neat. Yeah. So. Uh, did you want to do some currently trending this week? Yeah, let's do it. Let's make it happen. Let's do an ad read and then we can rock it. Does that sound good? I don't know. I don't remember what, what I said for, for my Well, Timon's arms were up doing this. So. Time, 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 time. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's talk about American meat. Let's talk about American meat. Let's go ahead and first of all just say right off the bat, Paige Cuco, awesome post um, today in the group chat, or sorry, Facebook group. Um, 
of her son. She says, has had his first taste of Good Rancher's bacon this morning, and now nobody else gets any. My <laughs> husband, who is also very hard to impress, said it's the best bacon he's ever had in his life. So the subscription is worth the free bacon alone. And her husband, notably, will not come to Gulf Shores, Alabama. Notably. <laughs> Even though that's all we're going to have for meat in Gulf Shores is Good Ranchers. Come on, Mr. Cook. Bacon every morning. That's all we're eating, dude. What's shaking bacon? I could say every single... I could, I'll do a wake-up call every day with you, Nick. I'll do a wake-up call and I'll say, what's shaking bacon? What? I'll bring you bacon in bed, Nick! Imagine it! It'll be awesome. <laughs> uh, hey, we're talking about mRNA, and we're saying mRN nope to the vaccines. Um Listen, there's a problem with vaccines in meat these days. The vast majority of the people shopping at the grocery store have no idea what they're, that the meat they buy, especially the beef, is often imported, comes from countries and farms that do not have the highest standard of quality, transparency, etc. Over 5 billion pounds, 5 billion, Timon, you're not even allowed to say that, um, <laughs> of meat was imported just last year. Customers are buying from places that don't share their values. That's why they need good ranchers, so they can finally remove the mystery from the meat. Sherlock Holmes doesn't need to be cooking your chicken, right? There's no mystery to this meat. Right? Huh? Right? Right? I have a comment from Michelle H., 1791. Oh, yeah. Uh, history buff. Yes, Michelle History. <clears throat> what if there's just a comment just on someone else's YouTube page? Like, they happen to say something about <laughs> yeah. No, this is our Wednesday episode last week. My sister lived in England for over 20 years now. She says their bacon is not good. Dude, it is bad. It is... Probably filled with freaking vaccines. Probably filled so. with taxines. <laughs> is not good. And... And she always looks forward to eating bacon when she's stateside. Whose side? Our state side. United, <laughs> the United States side. I'll be sure she gets to have the best American-made bacon from Good Ranchers That's when right. she's here later this year. So go America. Come on. Go Paul Bunyan. Who are some of our other heroes? Paul Bunyan's number one. Probably. Amelia Earhart. He's real. Amelia Earhart. Uh, Dwight Eisenhower. Let's just do Kansas. Dwight, Eisen Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard. Sure. Another famous American. Dirk. The, no. Mm. Um, do it for them. Yeah, me. No. Um, um, Butch Cassidy. Bill Gates. There you go. Bill Gates. Yeah. <laughs> Bill Gates is real into no vaccines <laughs> for these pigs. Um, Bonnie and Clyde. Do it for them. Two great Americans. Do it for Buffalo Bill Cody. That's right. Do it for John Wayne. Do it for General Custer. Do it for Seabiscuit. Do it for Ray Kroc. A lot of people don't know this. Lee Harvey Oswald's final words <laughs> oh, were American meat delivered. Now, this adds to the conspiracy theory a little bit, but all I'm focusing on is he knew where to get his meat. Goodranchers.com. Uh, Code is GRKC. Free bacon for a year when you subscribe. Be like all those other great Americans. Get some Good Ranchers. They are based out of Texas. so um, <laughs> I had a tough time remembering who that was. Uh, you, I want to say Jamie Lee Curtis. It's like, it's not Jamie Lee Curtis. I know it's not Jamie Lee Curtis. Oh, man. And they are offering a free 10-pound Easter ham with any subscription. I right forgot now. about Easter ham. Don't you dare. When have you ever been offered a free Easter ham in your life? Never. Take advantage. And it's not like, it's USA. Not like a nasty ham. It's is this a, from like a your, free ham. Yeah, it's not from your, like your church. Like, take a ham. You're like, I don't know if I want to take the ham. No, thanks. I, I don't trust that jelly on top. <laughs> <laughs> this is good ham. MRNO. Say MRNO.com. They have a whole website talking about their pledge. So Whole website. Whole website. Whole website. All right. Currently trending, Jake. You got any? Hello. Uh, yeah, currently trending for Rachel and I both. Uh, been having to adapt our running schedule. It's been running in weird spots. Yeah, you still 100%? Still bad at 1,000. Let's go. 100%. 10 out of 10. Whichever High you setting. prefer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Rachel on Friday flew to... Did I talk about this? Rachel and I had the same flight? No, to Georgia? Uh, we both had layovers in DFW. So I flew to Dallas. Boom! <laughs> Boom! Sick! Oh! See ya! Gross! <laughs> Philly special for me, man! Philly, Philly! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm done. Sorry, I said that. Yeah, it's okay. We both had... You were, you were down south. Fl flights down south. Mm -hmm. I was going there, and then Norfolk. Rachel was going there, then Charleston for a bachelorette party. Yep. So we had the same exact flight. How fun and cute is that? That is pretty... Did you realize it when you booked them? Uh, no, we booked them separately, because all mine gets booked through Trey's team and everything. And Rachel so booked hers fun. on her own. And Yeah, I had no idea. That's so fun. Same airline, same flight, same time. Uh -huh. You know how the same flight works. <laughs> I do. <laughs> you have all the same details. Uh, 
Different roads, different seats. Oh, yeah, I guess because it's not a Southwest, so you can't. Yeah. Okay. All good. I was asleep the whole time. But uh, she gets to Charleston, lands at like 2 p.m. Everyone else on the bachelorette party is already there. Okay. They've already gotten there before. She's like, well, I feel like if I don't run right away, I'm not going to have time to run at all. Well, in Charleston, it's also pouring down rain. So she starts running in the rain. Eventually, she's like, I can't get my hair this sweat. I, you oh, know, this yeah. is, I got to figure net. something out. Doesn't know what to do. So Rachel, she sent me a video of it. She ran her final 0.3 miles in the Airbnb. And it's like cleared <laughs> out a spot and just did like down and back from the kitchen to like the furthest bedroom. 0.3 miles is so long in a, in it's in, kind of a like, lot. Enclosed space. Yeah. That's hilarious. So I was like, this is great. I was like, this tops me running on the stage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of similar vibes though. And just like, yeah, just got to run in a small area and uh, good for her. Yeah, got Maybe it in. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Where did I run? Friday, I think it was. Uh, well, the day of uh, pedophilia, I ran, also ran outside in the rain for a little bit and was just getting sick of being wet, honestly. And so I snuck into a little like fitness center and ran the rest on a treadmill. Nice. Felt dirty. It's my dirtiest mile yet. What? Oh, because you were wet? Well, because I didn't have a gym membership, right? Like, legitimately, oh, like, I snuck see. into there and it just wasn't supposed to be there. Just ran yeah. like 0.82 really quickly and. What uh, what's the rule? Is it is it intentional running one mile every day, or did you if you play basketball and you have your watch on and it says you ran two miles while playing? Rachel says it doesn't count. Doesn't count because I was I'm assuming yeah. paddle padel. You're running some. Yeah, there. I probably got a mile in there. Yeah, I know the day we played pickup football, I ran like four and a half miles that day. Yeah, what if and then ran a mile? What if you intentionally are like, okay, when I do this, I'm gonna be running my mile because like we played soccer as a family the other night. Oh, that's fun. And I like. Just, I, I don't, I don't think I have like a smartwatch or anything. So I just turned on my phone, like started like logging it. And then I just like played soccer for like 15 minutes, mm -hmm. got my mile in. Does that count? Mm. I was like, this is going to be my mile. I was <laughs> even thinking about like, I want to like keep like jogging anytime that I'm not really like doing anything. To stay active. Yeah. I think it's your own rules, right? Okay. It sounds like, it sounds yeah. like they've drawn a line in the sand. Like, no, you're running this mile. Cause it's yeah. about the discipline to right. go out and Right. run and right now i'm kind of like I've, I've switched to like i'm kind of competing against my younger sister alice nice. where like she's like gonna do it with me yeah because like I, I was like losing my motivation i was like there, yeah there's not like that much of a incentive and we still haven't figured out like what like any kind of like punishment or something will be but like yeah and she's like on board with that so cool i think we're good on uh wednesday last wednesday you were going to go film with Jake pickleball stuff later in the afternoon. Yeah. And so I went back home, was eating lunch with Bo, and we can see like Jake's driveway from where we eat uh, our di at our dining table. And there's Mr. Timon getting out into his car, <laughs> yeah. doing some stretches, and then he just starts running. And Bo goes, why is Mr. Timon running? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that's not something you see around here very often. It's just dad just taking off on a run down just the street. Heading so, out. Yeah. <laughs> it's just funny. Why is he running? Why is he running? That was a... Kind of a cold mile, but it's it also like interesting. Like, this is me like figuring out stuff about like your neighborhood area. Like, because I've like <laughs> yeah, only ever where I just like pulling in like drive or whatever. That was kind of fun, dude. Your your street's getting out of control. So much construction. Like, there's been one time where I was like, I think I'm going to hit this this truck in the street. Like, it, there's no there's no part of the street that I can even drive on. You anymore. have you do have a very thin street. Thank you. Well, that's what the whole that's what they're widening. Mm, but these okay. work trucks are taking up. They're not even like getting all the way over. Do you see they just parked a, a massive machine in our yard overnight last night? It's like, can they do that overnight? Overnight? No, I didn't see that. I've I've seen them like, like are you get are you starting to get pretty annoyed by it? Like, there's not been times too much. I, I drove past one time and there were like three guys just hanging out like in a hole in your yard. Oh yeah, and I was yeah. like, that would that would bother me after a few days. I think maybe because I don't we don't have kids or anything. <clears> maybe it's like, well, I'm. No one's playing in the yard, yeah, do whatever you got to do. But it did seem weird that they can just park the machine in the in our yard rather than just in the street. Like there's been very little communication. I mean, I know you guys got like a pamphlet or something at one point. Yeah, I got the pamphlet. But it's not like they're knocking on your door like, hey, so we're, we're parking doing. it here for us. We're parking Big Bertha here overnight. <laughs> That's okay with you. It's going to ruin your grass, but uh, <laughs> it'll grow. It'll come That's back. It does. Yeah, the weeds will come back for sure. So, um, all right. Any, oh, sorry. Just one more on running. And then oh, yeah. Sunday, uh, it was very hard to find a place to run in Reading. Because we're just downtown, uh, there's no indoor spots. So I walked to a parking garage, went all the way up, and then ran laps on the top floor of the parking garage. Oh, nice. Life hack, running a parking garage. What do you think? Not too bad. Not, Not too, bad. too bad. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds nicer to me just than Just ran a, a bunch of laps on the top. <laughs> yeah. If it's so. a big enough parking garage. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, how many do you have? Because I'll figure out how I want to Three. 
Three. Okay. Uh, currently training for me is basketball. I mentioned I went to play or went to watch the KU game. Um, I've also been watching through Last Dance again, which is great. Oh, nice. So good, dude. Michael Jordan's shot. Just, I think he's the best of all time, but I also think he's just like the prettiest looking, like his basketball, the way he played was just so beautiful. Like he just levitated up there, dude. Anyway, um, March Madness coming up, currently trending. And then Hattie and I have been just dribbling the ball outside a lot lately. Like she's like really into just like dribbling the ball. She thinks it's really fun. So basketball, currently trending. That's fun. I want to come dribble with Hattie sometime. It's fun. And she likes, she she tries to steal it from me. I'm trying to teach her like how to, you know, steal whatever, all these different things. She thinks it's amazing that I can like go through my legs or I go around the back. So she can't wait for you to show her how you spin the ball on your. That is fun. I became obsessed with that. And it doesn't help you at all. (laughs) Uh, But it's pretty cool to do for children and on mission trips. Is there? Yeah. They call you a wizard. There's, there's no, no application for spinning the ball on the finger. Yeah. I'm trying to think of like some way I could spin, spin zone that. And I don't know if you can. Doesn't really help much. But uh, currently training for me is uh, seeing things on flights that I've never seen before. <laughs> so I've been on a lot of flights. And honestly, I feel like I've been on a pretty good run where, you know, I really hadn't seen anything weird since everyone was watching Young Sheldon on the way back from New Zealand. I feel like that was the last time I saw something strange <laughs> um, when the whole flight was watching Sheldo. But uh, anyway, this past weekend saw a woman wearing what looked like just like a Burger King drive through headset the whole flight. Never okay. saw her talking much. Over the over the top of the yeah, ear? Yeah, over the top, and like a microphone came out. So almost like a Bluetooth thing, but yeah, like a, yeah. And I don't know. It was like she was at telemarketing or something. I was like, are you making calls? I wasn't sitting next to her, though, so she was kind of in front of me. My guess is that's just like her headphones, but happens to have like one of the weird like... But if it's only on one ear, it sounds like. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's weird. It was that's- like a... Odd. It's like a Bluetooth thing, probably, but like it's one of those things, kind of like a mask, like where like, hey, you don't have to wear a mask anymore. It's like I'm so comfortable in it now though, that I don't want to take it off. <laughs> she loves her job. Yeah, I think it's just like I just I'm obsessed with this Bluetooth thing on my ear. So it's interesting. Not too crazy though. Okay. And then uh, I also saw a guy sitting right next to me. Let me see if I can remember everything from from the top. So let's see. Oh yeah, the first strange thing he did was uh, I'm watching like something I downloaded on Netflix on my uh, phone. And uh, he, he nudges me and he gestures uh, to the sky, like points upwards. And so I, I take out my headphones. And I was like, oh, sorry, what's that? And I thought it, he said, do you need the light? And I was like, maybe that's not what I heard. I said, sorry. He said, do you need the light? And I was like, oh, no, I'm, I'm good. Okay. So I'm like, all right, I don't know what and I don't know. Hey, I just, he just asked me yeah. if I needed a light. So what were like, you doing? You were I was just, just watching a TV show on my phone. And your phone has a light on it. It has, a, yeah, it's it's lit. It's exactly. Yeah. So not a huge deal, but it's kind of the start of like that was kind of a strange. <laughs> I don't know. I've never thought to ask someone else. Would you like me to press your light button for you? You know they have those, right? So I was like, yeah. oh yeah, all good. Was it already was was yours on for some reason? No, no, no. Okay. Dude, you should see me when I sit in an airplane seat. I look like a pilot. I sit down and I'm starting twisting stuff. I'm getting everything oh, ready. You, you yeah, I go settings. into mode. Yeah, yeah. Turn the air off. It's freaking cold. Make sure the light's off. Get the shade down. AirPods in. Close the case. Put it in the case. Get chapstick out. Put it down there. Put the phone. <laughs> oh, wow. Sit on the phone. It's right there. Yeah, you got a whatever. whole system. Um, Sean Mendez. That on its own would not have been obviously a big deal. Just kind of adds to it. Just like, you need a light? No, I don't need a light. <laughs> How many other people do you think you asked that to? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, does he do that every flight? You just consider it. He was kind of considerate because he would just like, um, before the flight ticket was coming to like ask us for our drinks, he like nudged me and was like, hey, she's coming. I was like, yeah. Um, <laughs> so maybe just a considerate guy. The second weird thing he did was when she came to ask uh, our drink orders, I got a water and he said, this time I, <laughs> this time I was pretty sure I heard him correctly. He said, I'll take a coffee. Okay. How do you take it? Five sugar, five cream. Whoa. Like, Whoa. I mean, these are like six ounce coffees. Once <laughs> yeah, again, they are, they are tiny little cups. Maybe I heard them wrong. They brought him five sugar and five cream. I was like, this is wild. And he's just dumping. Wow. He'd like drink some and then pour more cream into it. Five um, sugars. Five sugar, five cream. I'm like, dude, that's just milk. He's drinking <laughs> milk at this point. And I feel like when you put the sugar in... I, I think it's always a struggle to like get it mixed in. It's always just at the bottom. Yeah. So he just got like a, a <laughs> solid like half inch of sugar on the bottom of his cup. Could not have been good. So I was like, well, this is going to be a good flight. And then 
what's also happening around the same time, I've never seen anything like this. So I've got my noise canceling headphones in and watching a show. So I'm pretty locked in. I I've got a lot of noise in my own ears, but it sounds like someone is, is talking a little bit. And I take my headphones out and realize it's him next to me and he is talking loudly. Like it sounds like he's on a phone call. So like, how's this dude on a phone call in the air? I never thought about he doing like the that. Burger King headset. Yeah. It's so he's just, yeah, he's just on the phone. No, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like it, it didn't used to be like that. It's just like so loud. I'm like, this is wild that this dude's like okay with this. That like he's, he's not nervous or embarrassed. And so I'm like, that's kind of crazy. And I'm putting the headphones in, and then I'm like, every now and then I'll hear it again. I'll like take it out or like go transparency mode. Like, that is him talking again. But it's hard to look at someone right next to you. You know, you don't just want to like fully turn. Because there's are there three people in the row? Yeah, he's middle. So then what starts to happen is I notice now he's got the tray down and the phone's on the tray, and I see that he's watching something. So, and it looks like basketball. And I start taking a peek. This isn't basketball. He's watching 2K. He's watching NBA 2K happen. So then I really got to take the headphones out. So what I think is happening, he's in some kind of like online based phone call, some kind of like Discord call. And I think him and his friends are all in a group call together watching someone play like and stream NBA 2K. <laughs> and so they're on a group call talking about it. Really? This is my best, truly my best guess. I spent a lot of time looking at this because it can, wasn't Twitter. It, I think it was Discord. It was a new interface I wasn't familiar with. Maybe the, Kick or something. The uh, the Wi-Fi is good enough. To, I guess. So I feel like my Wi-Fi is terrible on planes. I, yeah, he was streaming and on the phone. And dude, it was like he was watching the NBA Finals. Because once I had the headphones out, I got to hear everything. It, it was just, dude, that's a travel. That's a travel. Talking about NBA 2K. He was like freaking out in his He's seat. He's not playing. He's not playing. He's just watching a guy play a video game. And it would just get so... And then he could go silent for three minutes and just kind of sit there and watch. And he's like, dude, that's what I'm saying. What? That's what I'm saying. No, Luca's, Luca's nice like that. The layup package, bro. And I was like, this is crazy that this is all like happening. He's not worried about anybody else around him. I can't imagine. He was so considered earlier. And now he's just like screaming about fake basketball on an airplane. Holy Isaac God. was sitting in the row ahead of me. And afterwards, he was like, we, he texted me when he landed. He's like, we have to talk about what was going on behind me. I was yeah. like, don't worry. I studied it. I can tell you exactly <laughs> what was happening. <laughs> Holy cow. But it was just very unique, very different. What, uh, for you, how far, how far will you go with like being in public and doing something? Like I get nervous or I get self-conscious being on the phone Dude, in public. with you. Like, yeah. like if I'm sitting at an airport waiting for my flight and Catherine calls me, I, I'm either like talking, I'm like, hey, how's it going? Hey, oh, yeah, yeah, just got on the flight. Just uh, and, and if I need to talk louder than that, if she's like, I can't hear you. I like stand up and go walk away. Sorry, we're, I'm on a plane. I'm, on, right? I'm sorry. I, I don't like, like I, uh, John Chris sometimes will do stories or like videos of him like waiting at the airport and like there's people all around him. And I'm like, I could never do that. I'd be so, so uncomfortable if even one person saw me talking to my phone. I, I would have to be so confident about what I was saying to pull that off. Yeah, I'm with you. I, I don't like that stuff. I almost, almost had a tinge of bravery the other day. Uh, I was going to Costco and I was going to go live while I was at Costco. <laughs> I was like, I will look like a maniac. <laughs> and I guarantee you, I get too excited and talk and I would say something too loud with my headphones in and just yeah. be a goofball. Uh, so didn't do it. So anyway, currently wow. trading, seeing weird things on flights. Oh, and then cherry on top. Both those things were on the same flight. The Burger King headset was sitting next to Isaac. Oh, really? Those things were both happening on the same exact flight. <laughs> <laughs> Which, that was, uh, that was to Norfolk. Uh, it was on the way, way back. I think that was her flight from, uh, Philadelphia to Chicago on her way back. Um, gotcha. Also Burger King headsets, uh, daughter apparently drew a picture for, a, uh, a man she saw who like, it was in like full like army like okay. garb. Uh -huh. And so I got to see this exchange happen. She was like, Hey, my daughter drew this for you. And the, the guy was just like, Oh, thank you. And just kind of walked off as a plane. And so Isaac says to her, he's like, man, I was kind of expecting a better reaction than that. And uh, the mom just goes, ah, I think you're just trying to get off the plane. <laughs> so Isaac's like, all right, screw me. <laughs> <laughs> I just trying to like, resonate. all right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're right. No, I'm, I'm rude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. That was my fault. <laughs> I, I think you're just trying to get off the plane, just like I'm trying to get. Can you please move? Like, <laughs> yeah, it was really funny. I was like, that was nice of that girl. That was nice of Isaac. And then mom's like, I mean, I, he was trying to get off the plane, obviously. He doesn't owe us anything. <laughs> yeah, he, he's done enough. <laughs> <laughs>
All right. Uh, currently, I, or time in, do you have anything? Currently uh, I was going to say, I do have two things, but look at the Facebook group again because Jake <laughs> Allen is back. Oh, oh. <laughs> really? <laughs> Let's refresh this baddie. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> he put a bunch from the office. Oh, this is unbelievable. <laughs> that is so wow. funny. I'm Jim. You Brad look, is Michael. You look like Jim in this picture. I look like Jim. That is I, so I kind of look like Jim. You do, dude. <laughs> I fit on Jim's body. I like that hair. Maybe you should grow their sides out a little more there. Throw it back like Jim. That looks exactly how I looked like in high school. I can't look like that again. <laughs> really? Oh, wait, are you looking at the third picture? Oh, I'm looking at the third picture. Yes. Oh, yeah, the, the first picture, the, the warehouse guy. No, don't do that. Oh, the, okay, the, uh, okay, okay. Like it's similar to your hair now, but just a little bit longer on the sides. There. I see, I see, I see. You look good. I don't Man. think I should do a Michael season one hair for myself. But <laughs> that is something. Wow. This is crazy. I got to know what he's using here. Oh, this is awesome. Thanks, Tywin, for currently trending. No problem. What else do you have? Um, I found myself using podcast notes in real life. Uh, what what like, does that mean? Basically, I like... I got home from like something at home and I was like, there's some things I was like, oh, I want to like make sure I tell like my mom or like my family. Like, uh, so, yeah. and so I like wrote down like four bullet points. I was like, what am I doing? This is like real life conversation. <laughs> stuff. But anyway, I, I think that. that's a great skill yeah. to have. But honestly, because it's like, I just, I, I know I'll forget this stuff. Yeah. Like I know I'm not going to remember, but there's like interesting stuff I want to say. Anyway, that's great. That's kind of fun. That's what growing up, we would be like, my mom would be like, oh, I have something to tell you about. Whatever, Bunko last night, but I'm gonna save it for dinner so I can tell everybody. I'm like, okay. Oh, fun. Okay. Yeah. You know, whatever. Nice. It's podcasting. Um, okay. I got a few different updates. I, I had an update for all the kids. One of them was with Hattie playing basketball. Uh, Rosie's update is I've been imitating her a lot. She's just getting really animated, like with her nods and her nose or whatever. Um, but anyway, since I've been the one making most of the meals these days, I, uh, I've learned with Rosie, you got to go one, one food at a time. Cause if you show her all the foods, she's only going to want the good ones. And so you got to give oh, her, okay. you got to give her the stuff that's not as desirable first. You got to give her the, the yep, peas. just broccoli. Yeah. It's just, it's broccoli oh. and cucumbers tonight. Psych Sweet potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, and so, you know, I'm sitting there watching her eat her cucumbers thinking you silly goof. You don't even know that. You, you got to fill stuff. up on them. And so I would just, I would just whisper to her. I'd be like, you want any string cheese? And she would just go, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and if for whatever reason, reason I'll just do it right back at her face. I'll just go, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's fun. She likes it. She thinks it's so funny. Yeah. Imitating Rosie. She's just super cute and fun and just in a fun age right now. Um, I haven't seen Rosie in a while. And then, yeah, Bo and I, when I, when I put him to bed every night, uh, I'm, I'm worried eventually I'm going to get pink eye from this, but uh, I, we do Eskimo kisses. You know those are? Yeah. Where you just like, you know, put your eyelashes up next to theirs and do it. Uh, but he doesn't know the word Eskimo, so he always forgets, like, what it's called. And so he's like, can we do the S S S Estesis Kisses? Asbestos? And and so now he just calls them S Kisses. S Kisses. Kind of sounds like he's saying something else. Like, can we do can we do Kisses with our S? Can we do the S Kisses? And he doesn't really blink his eyes, so it's just me, like, putting my eye up to his and just... <laughs> moving on her face. Um, I will say I'm almost positive Eskimo kisses is, is something low? else. So you can just change the name. Oh, what is it? What you're doing is called, I think, butterfly kisses. Yeah, that's what I know it as. Yeah. Wait, wait, is Eskimo kisses like inappropriate? Super. No, really? I'm just kidding. No. Oh, jeez, dude. <laughs> that was uh, me. <laughs> Eskimo kisses, I think we're with your nose. Nose on nose. Oh, you're right. Butterfly kisses. <laughs> yeah. Butterfly kisses. Can we do butt kisses, Dad? <laughs> uh, anyway, so how's my currently trending for those kids? That's fun. Yeah. Butterfly Kisses. Good song. <laughs> um, I'm just, there's, that doesn't matter. Butterfly Kisses make me think of Isaac's aunt at Jake McDonald's wedding knew every single word of that song and was like crying as she was singing it while Isaac's mom and Jake were doing their dance. <laughs> and it was, Isaac and I were laughing pretty hard. Yeah. Go ahead, Jake. Um, oh, where's it at? Let's see. Okay. So currently trending for me is, uh, well, it's not just training for me. It's training for everyone. Let's talk about Dogecoin. Okay. So <laughs> I get some notification like a week or so ago, and it was like, check your Robinhood portfolio. I was like, oh, gosh, Robinhood. I haven't thought about that since 2020, probably. The GameStop Dogecoin era. 
And I was like, hey, I wonder if I still have like money in there or something. I look and I did. And I still had a little bit of money in Dogecoin. Okay. I'm like, what am I doing? Get this is I can't believe Dogecoin is still around. Like, pull this money out as soon as possible. <laughs> Get it out of there. This is ridiculous. When's the last time you even heard about crypto or anything taken off? So <laughs> I want to show you a little chart, Brad, <laughs> that I've got pulled off my phone. This is Dogecoin's price over the last three months. Do you see that? <laughs> Do you want to guess when I pulled out of Dogecoin? <laughs> you could not have timed the market more perfectly in the, in the worst way. Robin Hood is trying to say, like, check it out, but keep it there. I mean, the day before this very flat line just skyrockets to the top. I'm like, get me out of this <laughs> stock. Whoa, that was a wild trip. I'll get out of there. I mean, look at the one uh, sorted by one year. I mean, it has been flat. Yeah. For a year, basically. <laughs> and then pretty much the day before it hit the moon, I was like, no, thanks. Get me out of this. Oh, wow. Um, so just unbelievable timing. I, I uh, Just kind of funny. Yeah, I heard but about... Oh, I have $50 in a savings bond. Dude, I'll be just fine. You know what's funny is after we talked about that, and then somebody on the Facebook group was like, here's how you do this. Yeah, it was so helpful. $30 is as much as it's ever going to, whatever, mature. I went back. My Aunt Cindy had given me a bunch of savings bonds. I took like five of them to the bank the other day, got $587. Whoa. Yeah. Dude, what are you going to do with that money today? Today, I'm going to buy Main Street Roasters and Good Ranchers, probably. All right. <laughs> Not uh, bad, brother. Not bad. You can get a lot of good stuff with that. Um, Timing? Uh, listening to Jacob Collier's new album. Okay. Mm. It's pretty great. Okay. I have uh, started listening to him. Sweet. Because of you, kind of. And uh, I, just last night, oh, I forgot the song. Anyway, I need to listen to it more. I need to okay. listen to it more. Okay. Um, but yeah. What is the song? Oh, Bridge Over Troubled Water. Yeah. I uh, I thought it was good, but I need to listen to it by myself. I need to listen to it more. Okay. Yeah. Listen to it more. He, without listening to him for more than twice with you guys in the car. You won't time. offend me, whatever you say. Just <laughs> no, no. no, here's, no, no. Here's, 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 here's why I haven't gotten into him is uh -huh. because he feels like the kind of person that you need to listen, listen to the music. You can't like have... Like it, need, it needs to be loud. It, it needs to be loud. It needs to yeah. be intentional. Yeah. You can't just have it on in the background in the car yeah. like, while you're talking, hanging out. Maybe it's, I'm wrong. It's a lot of variety. It's not, it's not like it's going to be like... This is, a con this is like a constant repetitive thing to just like have like background noise. It feels like every song is like a piece of art. Yeah. Rather than like, this is a one album that kind of is all one conglomerate. Yeah. Like the know. new album, like every song is a different like genre. Pretty really? Much. Yeah. I like that. That's, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, man. Um, okay. Last one. Last currently training for me, I guess. Uh, fending off the haters with new Gene Shorts content. Everyone, Go off. Everyone's just getting on us. <laughs> Not everyone. Like, you know, the 10% of the people in the comments on Gene Short. We've been posting a lot of re-uploads. And by we, I mean I. And hey. it's because, it's because honestly, we make, we get better views on our old stuff. Hey, something's up. Something's up. <laughs> I, maybe it's just we suck these days. Um, but so many people are like, oh, another re-upload. This, this, and this. And you, you look back and it's like, our best performing videos the last two months have been Videos we Three did two uploads. years ago. <laughs> and so, anyway, um, it's not that we don't like making videos. And we are making videos. We posted a bunch this past week. But, um, yeah, it's just a uh, lot, of, lot, of, lot of people being like, oh, I used to love this channel. Now I'm just so tired. What, I, I'd rather them just not post anything. It's like, that's fine. Then, then don't watch us. But we make money when we post things. <laughs> and we're trying to make literally hundreds of dollars. We're not, that's making, it. <laughs> we're not making like millions of dollars off of this. <laughs> Like, we're just trying to make a little bit of money on this thing, so... If we made thousands um, of dollars every video, oh my gosh, we'd be cranking out stuff all the time. We'd be so much more motivated to, correct. like, really take that more seriously. It's yeah. like, it just doesn't and really make thing, sense. And it's so hard, because, like, sometimes we'll be like, that was a really great video, and we make literally $200, maybe, $150, and then I'll repost Millennials versus Boomers at Home Depot, and it did really well, and then that one, we did really well on. And it's like, all I had to do for that is find the file, drag and drop it and put a new <laughs> thumbnail on it. Like, and so it's, it's like, of course we would love to just make new stuff all the time. But anyway, um, all the, all the people that are going to come for me the next time I do a reupload, I'm going to say the last six videos we've posted have been brand new stuff. So, so stink it. How about that? So and don't go to Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> you must be from Dallas. So I did something yesterday where I reposted some short form content, Yeah, uh, which I, I see people do every now and then. I think everyone, 
for the most part, usually appreciates it because you're reposting something that a lot of people like. So it's like, oh, this is kind of fun. They're reposting something that I loved the first time. And honestly, I was kind of doing it to maybe get our, this is this Friday Pickleball, get our Instagram TikTok out of a rut a little bit. It's like, man, we haven't popped off in a, in a while. Mm -hmm. Reposted our most viral video ever. It got like 6 million views on Instagram or something crazy. I I post that. I go off and shoot mood swings content for four hours. Like, oh my gosh, I forgot I posted a video today. Let's, Let's see how check. we did. Three comments. One of them was me. Oh, it's like, wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> this is like objectively a good piece of content because it went viral on multiple platforms last time. Why is it not? What's going on? I know. So, time and we're going to talk after this, but I have a new strategy for us. Okay. Ooh, fun, fun. Just uh, sums up. Can we talk about it a little bit? I want to hear. Sums it. up. Can we talk about the strategy though? Sums up. No, <laughs> no. Uh, sorry, I just don't know. Like. Some Hey, what's up there? Some it's something. <laughs> I don't know what it is? I would like to hear about a strategy. Well, my thought is let's use time and skills, um, and start and continue to produce uh, comedic material, but more high production. Yeah. And let's just try it because initially, I, I you know I've always been drawn to stuff like that. It's like how fun would that be to like really write out a sketch? But like it just there's no guarantee higher production doesn't equal doesn't higher equal. views that's what's so, so just, you lose money on hard, it hard dude like you watch there's there's a, another golf channel like yours saint andre yes very high production yeah. and they're doing very well yeah but there's also you go back to trey's channel right now trey has done some very amazing high production yeah. like green screen what he did in december yes yeah didn't do nearly as well yeah. as just him impersonating travis kelsey and other chiefs characters yeah like, you know, that one gets 5 million views and he makes a bunch of money on that one. And then this one that he spent all this money producing makes negative money probably. You yeah. Know? So I remember it's, that. Just, it's just a grind. It's just like, just keep doing something and hoping that something <laughs> yeah. sticks. Like just Keep throwing stuff at the wall. <laughs> yeah. Like that day, time and where, I think it was a Wednesday, we got done recording here. I was like, hey, let's go shoot a video really quickly. And I basically wrote a video in five minutes sitting on the couch slash on the way to those pickleball courts. We drove two minutes, me, yeah. you and Rachel, and just had you film it. That video got a million views. Yes. And it was so easy. I wrote it in five minutes. We, we didn't even drive a mile to get there. It's like, man, <laughs> I know it's possible to get views and get followers yeah. without trying too hard. The Dave Ramsey video I did. So easy. I did a green screen in my wood shop office. <laughs> like behind me, there was like dirty <laughs> hoodies, like stained <laughs> hoodies that I green screened over a Chipotle background. Yeah. And it took me, you know, 15 minutes. Yeah. Hey, it Jake, got a million wait, wait. views. Theory. Who held the camera for the one you reposted? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> There's a common denominator here. Not as anyone can hold that s straight. That's right. Well, um, Isaac does have a little shake to him. You got a little shake to him. <laughs> Get him a gimbal. He needs to have a human gimbal. So my thought is, I've got a good amount of ideas that I think could really work well. I know we've talked about it before. Uh, I really want to do a high production comedy sketch about like how people view big, pickleball as a cult. Okay. You know, I talked about this before on the podcast, but mm -hmm. I think it could be really fun to like... I think Time even had the idea when I pitched this idea initially, like something with like, you, you don't have the glasses on, like it's just Meadowbrook, like it looks amazing. And you put the glasses on and then it switches and like these people in <laughs> robes are like chanting, like <laughs> oh, dink with us, yeah, dink, yeah. you know, whatever. Um, I, well, these days, I mean, the like in two years, I feel like the technology for all this stuff is going to be so much more, like you can do that technology, like on AI something. Oh, time is out you know of a I mean? job quick. Oh no. my gosh. <laughs> Dunzo. I mean, enjoy it while you can. Just, we talked about the other day with green screens, like we were showing mm -hmm. my kids green screens yeah. and how that used to be so hard to pull off a hundred. Yeah. You have to, have to have a, a literal screen or a wall or something. And now it's like, yeah, I can just do it with anything, anywhere you want. Yeah, the U.S. government barely pulled it off with the moon landing in the 60s, <laughs> and now we could do it on our phone in 30 seconds. There were no stars. <laughs> <laughs> they forgot to put the stars in the green screen. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. It's just, uh, it, yeah, it just seems like something like right now that's like, whoa, you got to get a lot of extras. Eventually, it's going to be like, it's going to look pretty good yeah. without it, you know? So, so that's fun. Yeah, that's my thought. It's like maybe we just try and do different style of comedy content. I don't know. It does seem like everything with Rachel and it does really well too. So maybe we just, we become a pickleball relationship comedy channel. Dude, just I mean, do look, that at, over and look over. at Gene Short. So many of the things that have hit well for us are relationship driven. Yeah. Marriage driven, family driven. Like it just seems like they, Instagram thinks that's your thing. You're, you guys are those kind of people. Yeah. So. Maybe either Catherine replaces me or Rachel replaces you. We, yeah. we need one guy, one girl, and that's it. <laughs> Not too many cooks in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, yeah, I give credit to Trey. Like one of the things I think Trey does better than almost anybody I know or anybody I can think of is he acclimates and fails fast a lot. Like yeah. he'll he'll just be like, 
it seems like it seems like YouTube Shorts are the way. Let's do a bunch of YouTube Shorts, and then YouTube Shorts doesn't go like he wants. He's like, never mind. I'm out on YouTube Shorts. We're doing this. Like, he's like, I'm gonna try this thing. I'm gonna do that. Like, think Quick about how many videos you guys have done that were just like so randomly weird. And yeah, it's like, like that. Hey, let's I guess it. it didn't work, and that's Scrolls fine. be like, all right, hey, it was just it was just 2020. It was just <laughs> yeah, fun. you guys did like that random like American Idol country version or something. Remember that? Oh yeah, or like you did. Yeah, yeah you did all yeah. these like like the Bachelor, you know, videos, music videos, and music videos. He's yeah. and he's doing music videos now. It's like yeah. he's just continually adapting, seeing what's gonna. He did that thing with Jada Pickett Spit Smith. Spit. <laughs> Jada Rick Smith. Um, <laughs> Jada Pinkett Smith. You yeah, know? that was so random. Yeah. Like that was one of those things where I was like, is he getting paid to do this? This is so <laughs> weird. Uh, anyway, just all sorts of all over the place. But I don't know. We talk, we talk influencer for a long time. Anyway, was that it? Was that your turn? I'm, I'm fending off the haters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's where, yeah, that's mm-hmm. where we started with them. <laughs> uh, that's fun. How long have we been going, Timon? Uh, let me see. Hour 52. Hour 52. <laughs> All right, we should save. We'll do schmores some other time. Schmores for Wednesday. It's, it's usually a Wednesday thing anyway. Phony phrases for Wednesday. We got plenty more to talk about. Um, let's do our review of the week, shall we? Mm-hmm. And when I say shall we, I mean shall should I? we? Yes. <laughs> Excuse me. I know I didn't have mine ready to go either. All right. This one's from Cleth Bark. Spit everywhere. Five stars. <laughs> Anyone else? Dot dot dot. Question mark. Hi, Jake, Brad, and Ty. This podcast is my favorite. I'm a new mom, and I started listening back in September. Unfortunately, at that time, I became very sick. I was halfway through my pregnancy, and so suddenly I had to stop working and just couldn't do much due to illness. Mm. It was a scary and difficult time. I spent hours listening to you guys while on the couch and driving to countless doctor appointments and ultrasounds. The pod kept me company through one of the hardest seasons of my life. I'm now in remission and healthy, and listen while holding our healthy and adorable daughter, Thank a little you. miracle baby born on Christmas Eve. Wow. Thanks for sharing your friendship and the joy you find in everything. The undying love for Patrick Mahomes hurts my soul a little bit, though. Anyone else? <laughs> Best, Beth from Ohio, hey. who's a Bills fan through marriage. P.S. Timon, holy vocals. <laughs> <laughs> holy vocals, Batman. <laughs> Whoa. Go Bills. Yeah, Zooks, Tyvon. <laughs> Just heard the waving through the window cover, and it was 10 out of 10. <laughs> it was so good. Thanks. Hey, praise God that you're feeling better, Beth. And Merry Christmas. Seriously, that's awesome. Um, all right, mine is comedy and community for everyone. Is that mm, what it says? From Abby Cakes. Abby Cakes. Abby Cakes. Abby Cakes. Five stars. This podcast is amazing. I just started listening about a month ago and already feel the kindness of Jake and Brad and the community New ghost. that they have developed. You will not be disappointed with this podcast. <clears throat> Jake and Brad have a way of being true to themselves while welcoming everyone, no matter their faith, identity, or stage of life. And if you're listening without joining the Facebook group, you're really missing out. The people are so kind and interactive that it makes it makes the Ghost Riders experience even better somehow. I look forward to a new episode every week and enjoy getting to know Jake and Brad more as I listen to the older ones. This is a great listen. Definitely worth your time. Thanks, Great Abby. review. A B cakes. Only a month in. And she is right. The Facebook group is the gift that keeps on giving. It's awesome. It's such a, just a, a beautiful, healthy, amazing spot. I mean, people are in there messaging, hey, I'm moving to Atlanta. Yeah. Anybody else live here? Want to go to church? You hey, know, it's just like, yeah, it's need awesome. a prayer request. Need this. Yeah. Hey, look at this hilarious face swap with, yeah. <laughs> Top Gun Maverick. Top Gun Maverick. <laughs> just, just, yeah. It really is awesome. I mean, people are posting there multiple times a day. So fun. Alvaro Eskin is coming to Gulf Shores. Latino Mr. Beast. He posts on there. Uh, he needs a roommate. Um, so you guys, if you're a man that wants to come to Gulf Shores and share a king size bed with a awesome man named Alvaro. Yeah. Holler. Let him watch. Man, I love that school of rock picture of myself. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much. Uh, it's fun. You should All go right. live today and set the phone up just with of that of you and just talk behind it. <laughs> I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Brad, you want to end this episode with a jingle? <laughs> I do. Um, I lost it. I'm going to find it real quick. Yes. Uh, we're going to do um, another one of Timon's versions. Um, let's see here. This one is coming to us back in the day from Abby Mutepuffa. Mutepuffa. You know who you are. Um, this one was sent to us on June 23rd of 2021, and we're bringing it back, baby. All righty. All righty. 
said Sunday accidentally way too many times, but that's okay. <laughs> hey, you did great, man. Sunday's a great day. Time in the falsetto, nice. Always Thanks. good. Brad, when you slammed the microphone down in your laptop, Boom. nice. Is that what it was? I, I felt it like... I thought it was just a desk. <laughs> Maybe it was. No problem. Know. No problem. This laptop's, uh, you know, accessory of the podcast. If I break it, new one. New one on <laughs> Ghost Runners. Hey, uh, if you want to see the jingle, you want to let yourself watch, go to Patreon. Mm -hmm. Let them watch. Let Appreciate them watch. it. Let them, let them tron. Uh, we'll see you guys Wednesday. Uh, hopefully we can keep it up. I feel like the Wednesday episodes lately have been very, very good. Getting a lot of specific <laughs> feedback. Like this episode was so, so good. So listen yeah. to last week's if you haven't. Yeah. This week's is going to be great. We're doing phony phrases again. We're doing schmores again. I'm excited for quick cues. Quick cues again. First time. For quick again, you guys know. <laughs> uh, so yeah, connections. Can we play connections again? I wrote that down. Yeah, I want to play connections again. I, actually wrote, it, I wrote it down twice because at two different times I was like, oh, we should play connections this week. I was like, <laughs> you already wrote that down. Okay, <laughs> like, that's a really good idea. All yeah. right, we're definitely playing it. Let's do it. All right, we'll see you guys Wednesday. Love you guys. See you Wednesday. Love you guys. Ghost Runners Podcast. Every Monday morning.